Friday the 13th, and welcome to Getting Baked with Crystal. Yahoo! <laughs> There's my cheering section. Tonight we are making lemon blueberry, or blueberry lemon? I don't remember which order it was in. There's lemons, there's blueberries, there's cheesecake, it's bars. It's uh, Terry's selection for her birthday treat. So this is what we're making tonight. Chris with the super chat, thank you so much. I know this is Terry's birthday treat, but when you are finished, do not eat it. Just package it up and send it straight to me. It's safer that way. Well, thank you for the super chat, but I happen to know that you have your own because I have pictures and everything. Eat yours. We're allowed to have our own. Can I, can I help you? Yeah, I keep going. <laughs> well, there, there you go. All right. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody had a good day and is uh, ready to make some treats. This, this is a new one. Can you hold on to the back of my back scruff, like just like <laughs> my shirt? <laughs> by the way, there's I've got cats. By the, I've got a scruff. Is that better? Can you hear? Can you hear better now? By the way, there's a raccoon like living on my porch right now. <laughs> yes, there is. He's so big. <laughs> Should I go out there right now and try to grab him? No, no, you should not. Dan keeps wanting to give him treats. Like, oh, can I give him a chicken nugget? No, no, He you can't. says he prefers Wendy's over at McDonald's. Good to know. <laughs> is, the sound, is the sound better? I, I don't know. I can't hear it. Okay. <laughs> Sam says, now the counter needs to be washed again. Oh. Yeah. Well, we know Dan doesn't wash his clothes. It's a shower day today. Oh, good. <laughs> it's not even Wednesday or Saturday. Uh, Chris yeah. says, I do have my own, but it will be gone before morning, and I want more. Well, then make some more. Or, or commission Amanda to make some more. No? No? Uh, no, Nancy. The raccoon is not a new kitty. No. No, 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 no. Shannon says, I wore that same shirt today when I stopped by work, and everyone loved it. If you guys like my shirt, you know you can buy one of these your very own self. Um, I designed it, my very own self, and put them up on Redbubble for you guys. So you can go to gettingbigcrystal.com to find the link. If you don't like bad words, who doesn't like bad words? If you don't want to wear bad words on your shirt, there's also a version that says let's bake stuff, which is, you know, a little more uh, friendly for everybody. I'm sorry, did I steal the mouse? You're fine. I'll find correct links to the correct store that those are on. Thank you. Uh, Jasmine with member super chat. Thank you so much for supporting us for 25 whole months. Appreciate you, friend. She says, hi, Dan and Crystal and Terry. I have the popular sickness for the fifth time. Oh my gosh. And golf stone. What's a golf stone? Golf stones. Any suggestions on getting better? Sleep. Lots and lots of sleep. When we've had popular sickness, we sleep. Uh, Brittany says her mom feeds the raccoon, her raccoons. Wait, like pet raccoons or wild raccoons? Peanut butter and cat treat sandwiches. We're not feeding the raccoon. Get a live trap and take him to the woods. Do you have any? No, we don't have woods. Uh, maybe like up in the mountains, there's places with trees. But um, one of our neighbors actually, <laughs> we're, we were outside on the porch, like trying to figure out like what's going on. And uh, she must not have figured out what we were doing before she walked to the end of her driveway right across the street. And she said, you know, you guys have a raccoon living under your house. He's looking at me right now. <laughs> He, he was looking at her. Um, when the person crashed into our house, one of the pieces of the panels broke out. We haven't been able to find more of that particular type of panel yet to replace it. So uh, he goes under our porch and hangs out. And, and he was trying to climb the, the uh, what's the stuff called? The lattice? Um, while we were standing out there, he was trying to climb the lattice, peeking at us. Yeah, no, no. There, there's the link there real quick just to go to this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yes, yes. So if you guys are interested in this go. shirt or the Getting Baked Crystal shirt, a handful of other yeah, things. Yeah, there'll be more items there. up there as, as well as we, <coughs> as we transfer over to Spreadshirt. Yes. And we leave bad teesprings and others in, in the dust. <laughs> okay. Uh, PJ with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Says, greetings from Putney, Vermont. We are upgrading to a raccoon. This is it, folks. This is what we've been training for. Get a rabies shot, Dan. <laughs> Dude, he lives under my house. Also, he's beautiful. <laughs> he, he is very beautiful. Look, he's, he's big and fat and round and absolutely beautiful. He cannot come in the house. Absolutely not. No, no, no. Adele says, Dan sounds like my seven-year-old telling me what the toddler and pets told her. Pretty much. Sorry, I'm just reading and catching up. A raccoon is really just a cat with a mask. Oh, I, I'm looking at him through the beautiful window. mask. He's so beautiful. beautiful. Like, I wish we could pick him up and snuggle him, but no. No, 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 no. Uh, oh Nancy God. had a raccoon who sat on her gutter and was ripping shingles off of her roof. Luckily, he has not made it up onto our roof, just the porch. Um, he does like to knock over my plants. That seems to be his favorite thing. I think he's trying to look for treats and snacks and things. And things. And things. He, yeah, he's... He's, he's beautiful. He's got, but, 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 but he's got a girl. <laughs> I thought you had an older cat under the house. Yes. Uh, Popeye lives under the house as well. They uh, There's plenty of room for both of them, apparently. 
<laughs> I, I don't know. They've been uh, Tris- sharing. Huh? They've been sharing for now. Well, mostly. Tristan says it's her daughter's 12th birthday tomorrow. Well, happy early happy birthday, birthday to your daughter. I can't believe she's almost a teenager. Um, Funny story. Blake turned 13, an actual teenager, and I swear, like, instantly started sleeping till noon. Like, this child was up at 6 a.m. tapping on Dan's shoulder. Dad. Dad. I'm awake. Like, that was our problem. Um, until, like, the day he turned 13, and then he was just instantly sleeping till noon. So, um, at least there's a benefit to having a teenager. You, you get to spend your morning without having to tend to a child. What are we making today? Uh, we are making lemon blueberry, or blueberry lemon. I don't know. Blueberry lemon. The recipe calls it blueberry lemon cheesecake bars. I got you some lemons, but they looked like last year's lemons that were dipped they in wax look and fine. like put in the freezer next to Walt Disney until <laughs> it was time. Cryogenically frozen. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, you have this fancy zester, so we can zest them. I think they'll be fine. They're not too smooth. They should be fine. And uh, you got blueberries. Funny story. Dan had to go to the store today to get me blueberries and lemons, the two main ingredients here. He, uh, he called me from the store to ask, we also needed sour cream. He called me from the store to ask about which brand of sour cream to get. Um, I do not get off-brand sour cream. I'm not terribly opposed to it. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's a little, like, gritty almost, like the texture's not right. So we'll, we'll pay the extra dollar and get the better one. And then I asked him, hey, did you check for blueberries already? He said, no, I'm heading there now. So we're talking on the phone. And he goes over to the blueberries, and he takes pictures of the two different sizes of blueberries. I made sure it wanted a, uh, the recipe wants a cup and a half of blueberries. They don't measure in a cup and a half on the package. It's not like when you buy, like, nuts. Nuts will tell you two cups in this bag, right? Mm-hmm. So that's nice and easy to do some conversion math. Um, blue, blueberries don't do that. So I took the initiative and went and searched how many blueberries in a cup and a half, and it was like 275 grams or something like that. So I told him I need 275 grams of blueberries, thinking it'll probably say that, which it absolutely does. And I said, get the one that's uh, apparently 510 grams, more than enough, but the other one was like 100 and something grams. So yes, get get the big one. We talked a little more. He asked if I needed a few other things, and we, we went about our day. And uh, what, about half an hour later, he, he called me back and said, uh, so I forgot to get blueberries. <laughs> Yeah. Like, one of the two things you had to get at the store. I think I went to go look for cat food, and then I went to find some smoothie juice, and then I left. For, and I then, left then no no blueberries. So Dan made two trips to the Stater Brothers today. Yeah, I went back. But I we went, had more than enough blueberries. I went back. to It was empty when I went in there. I went through the line. Then I went back through the line again, like, 15 minutes later. And like, hey, <laughs> look, it's me. I'm back. Recognizable Dan. And I was like, and they just... No, they don't even didn't. pay attention. I worked retail. They you don't even work. look at people. Just There's a couple people there. That if you'd have been like, remember me? I bought the smoothie juice and the sour cream. Then they might have remembered. Yeah, <laughs> the other dude knows who we are, and then the other lady does too. But, like, yeah, I was like, hi, I probably, like, was here two seconds ago. <laughs> Marco wants to know what you're going to name the raccoon. He actually uh, has yeah. a name. Yeah, Terry's right. It's Maurice. <laughs> yes. We were able to name the raccoon easy. Uh, the cats have names too, except for Mama Cat. <laughs> Sam says you should have streamed your trip, and then the chat could have helped you to remember. I thought about that, but I chose to, like, come back and, like, do other Hang stuff. Hang your head in shame and well, go no, get Well, no, because, because when I stream, it's, like, two, sorry, it's, like, 2.5 times longer <laughs> to go to the store and come back, and so I opted not to. I thought about it. Fair for, enough. I thought about it for a little bit, and then I didn't. So next time, next time I will. Uh, Wilton says, I remember Stater Brothers from when I was in Hemet in 96. That's our uh, main grocery store yeah. until we discovered Aldi. However, Aldi doesn't have everything, so Stater Brothers is our, Aldi like, second choice open till nine there's that which too. is a problem yes like you leave like right around eight o'clock and i'm up and ready to like go to the store but if we have to go to all you have to wait another hour but at that point i'm already sitting on my desk and working and like i don't want to go all the opens up what's, what's wrong so i dropped my curling iron on my neck on like monday it's since you're so you like deathly <laughs> white like oh. it's like so neon on your neck <gasps> It hurts so bad. Just like, like right now, just right now, nothing's happening. It hurts so bad, but this braid is hitting it and it hurts so bad. You, and it was one of those things where like, I'm curling my hair and it slipped out of my hand. Uh, something's wrong. My hands don't work as well as they used to anymore. And so I'm like, 
oh crap and grabbed it right away didn't matter instant like i don't know third degree burn i don't know it's been peeling it was bleeding yesterday my sweatshirt Ew. rubbed on it and it was bleeding and i had to sit there with you the tissue on my neck you need to do like the auto mechanic store where they hang and then you just bring it down to your level here and then you can use it so if you drop it it just goes back to it this. hangs from the ceiling it, it just that's hangs. a good idea can you put a hook in the and ceiling and then you click it it goes <laughs> that it would be brilliant it retracts up and then you know and in case of like an intruder you can home alone it down on someone and like burn, <laughs> and burn them yeah like a you Jedi. would absolutely run if i touched you with my like 400 degree curl no that thing looks that thing looks vicious yeah, um, it, it do you is, want me clearly. to get a clip so you can clip up your uh little no, thing on the side no there? i'm just gonna throw it over my shoulder like a continental soldier uh, <laughs> i have actually <laughs> 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 That's not how that goes. That's this way. <laughs> what? You just can't change that. <laughs> I just did. I'm bringing it back. Um, I've actually been using the cream that they gave Kamiko once her wound was healed and it was just pink flesh. Right. They and it's basically her, like a burn cream. It, it had a little picture of Eric Stoltz from Mask on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> I said before, and then I had him from like some kind of wonderful on the other side for after. <laughs> it works really well. The first couple of days I was putting lotion on it, and then Terry reminded us that we had that cream, and so I pulled it out, and it's much thicker and it works much better. Um, however, it hurts like hell. Just like not even doing anything to it. So It yeah. looks pretty vicious. <laughs> it's it's bad. It's it's really, really bad. Um, I did miss a super chat here. I'm getting to it. Sorry, friend. Uh Foxy Koala with her member super chat. She's Hi, been Foxy supporting Koala. us for twenty six whole months. Thank you so much, friend. Uh wishing Terry a happy birthday. She's somewhere. She just got home from work. I think she's changing. Hey, Foxy I Koala, she's... guess what? I saw on on short form media like TikTok, because they don't lie, um, that <laughs> a tiger is bigger than a lion. Good to know. Yeah. Well, the silhouette was bigger, and and then it was the first one on the silhouette list. So <laughs> there you go. I, you did, I bet was you it didn't just know a that size comparison. I bet you didn't know that. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Zip it. Uh, Adele in Australia says mm -hmm. we don't have raccoons. So weird to me to think that like first of all we did not have raccoons either until like three years ago. I mean the pandas are the same thing, or not pandas. <laughs> uh, koalas are the same thing. Sort of. I hear they're really vicious. Um, we had seen raccoons. I think like twice. We saw them down Fifteenth Street. Um, like in the gutter, mm -hmm. but we never saw him like up close and personal until we were down in LA one day and you were coming down to meet us and you opened the back door and there was a raccoon on the steps. Ever since then, there have been raccoons. Well, now, he, I, and I've never seen them all my life until then. And now, like, yes. I mean, the one's on my porch right now, handing out. Yeah, just moving on in. Um, we do very often find their footprints on the back steps. And they're like like big old handprints. <laughs> they're, they're they're big and a little bit scary. Uh, so Adele says we do have extremely venomous snakes being driven into the town due to the river flooding. That's terrifying. <laughs> we have snakes. We have like desert snakes and stuff. I've never seen a snake in real life out it, here. It, we go crazy out here when the mountain lions try to come down. Yes, uh, we, they go crazy like the whole town. Yeah, they come like into that. neighborhoods looking for food and stuff. Uh huh. Jess says hello, everyone. Hi, Jess. Hello. Uh so Sorry, Crystal scrolled way up high on the chat. So I did. Um, we're coming yeah, down. I, I had to get to that super chat. And then Amanda, who uh, made this, this recipe earlier today, says she posted pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that. Tristan says, hope to see you guys in about a week. Do tell. <laughs> Do, like, <laughs> first I've heard of this. Oh, the Florida thing with Jess. But you're not oh, going. Oh, I am not. Jess is going. I'm not going, though. I'll be there and like, if you touch Jess, Jess is like, touch to me. So, like, you just, like touch her then like it's kind of the same kind of the same can you go show off amanda's pictures I, on the camera please? i can you give me chat anxiety because anything could be happening down there anything at all and i don't even think uh oh Brittany is here <laughs> Brittany says sure crystal curling iron burn we know what that's code for what else do you think i had by my neck that was 400 degrees i need to know <laughs> I mean, you can still fly to Florida, Dan. I looked. It was seven and a half hours on an airplane. And like, Did you, wait, wait. I don't know if I could seven and a half hours on an airplane. <laughs> I'm old now. I'm old now. That looks amazing, and now I'm really excited to try this. Thanks, Amanda, for doing the hard work before I had What's to. up with that plate choice? That's not too bad. Are they all black and white like that? Or? I like the plate. It's got some style. It's not just, like, plain one color. I like your plates. Well, I didn't say I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't say I did. Uh, Wilton wants to know if it's salvadine cream. I honestly have no idea what it is. Are you still in the mouse? No. Oh, it's just jumping around. No, I can't get back to the chat. No. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and the whole thing jumped. Might as well jump. 
<laughs> Might as well. I don't know. It is not a hickey. I assure you it's not a hickey. <laughs> But I'm sure if anybody at work saw it, they they would accuse me of having no, a No, it looks, when you get close to it, it looks like a burn. It very much looks like a It looks like, like a, a peeling. It's, it's a big line. It looks like a peeling sore. And, yeah, it's it's really gross. Uh, Chris says, damn it, Amanda is showing off my snacks. No, she's showing off her baking talent is what she's showing off. She did a really great job. Freaking delicious. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Uh, Shannon says, I'm not a big blueberry fan, but I love lemon. Um... I I have love hate with blueberries. If they're like nice and firm, I'm a fan. If they're squishy, I I can't do it. It's a texture thing. I like them in desserts, especially with lemon. So I think this will be a good one. It's my it's my favorite. I'm I'm really hoping this turns out well. And Amanda gives me confidence because you guys saw how last week turned out. Although if you saw Saturday's show or my post about it, that chocolate roll was really good. I will say that is one of my few desserts that I have made that Blake came out like three times. Like, hey, got any more of that chocolate roll? And, and cut himself some slices. because that was one time only, so... <laughs> we'll, we'll do it again at some point, um, but not anytime soon. We'll have a redemption episode. We'll try a different recipe. But Blake, usually I'll be like, hey, there's a whatever. Oh, yeah, okay. And sometimes he'll eat it, you know, once, maybe twice. But he came out like, got any more of that? Instead of me having to force it upon him when he wanted a snack. Oh, it's just going to keep whacking and scraping on it and pulling it. And, oh. I only have one braid tonight, guys. Just just the one. I'm, I'm going to stay this way. Uh, Husky Mom Veronica says, lemon roll is amazing. My mom buys it from the store often, and if I'm over there, I'll try it. It's okay. It's it's store-bought. We made it on the show once, and the recipe we used was terrible. The The cake itself was really dry, and just it, it didn't work at all. So that's another one where I, I need to have redemption on this. Uh, Lisa is here. Hello, Lisa. Hope you're doing well. Just uh, as fly out Thursday, fly home Sunday, just saying, but who's going to edit the videos? True. True. Uh, F. Vance says, Arif, is Dan is hot? Are you sure he's not 400 degrees? Oh. <laughs> Are you sure Dan don't have lips like this? <laughs> yeah, it would, it would have to be like that. Uh, Dale says, I don't like blueberries either. You think I could try the recipe with, like, strawberries, blackberries, or raspberries? Absolutely, why not? Yeah, throw in whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I think they're all similar uh, moisture content. Uh, I would I would recommend so I did look into this because the recipe says you can use fresh or frozen blueberries Okay, but which should I be using? Um, so I did some more research into it and when baking you can use them interchangeably However, frozen blueberries will add more moisture. So in something so, like a yeah, muffin, yeah. it's probably not gonna be a big deal But in a cheesecake Amanda, did you use fresh or, fresh or frozen blueberries? Let me know but in the cheesecake, I didn't want to add extra moisture and risk it making the cheesecake too wet and then it wouldn't set. So I went with fresh this time, but let me know, Amanda, what you used. Uh, what if the raccoon had babies under your house? Oh my God, don't even put that out in the universe. Who said that? Wilton? Wilton. Wilton. Oh my gosh, Wilton. Now we have to look. Look, we have to look if you can catch a baby one, we can keep it. Fuck. <laughs> Just saying. Because then, then it wouldn't be all like feral and violent. Oh my god! I'm just saying. No. If we can raise it, no. if we can like bottle feed it. No. <laughs> no. Crystal, I, I, I second the baby. <laughs> see, see, two against one. Oh, uh, you want to bring you brought up one inside. We can't have one raccoon. Yeah. Just one, not three. Th three. How many other cats that are here have been your fault? Oh. <laughs> lots, lots of them. I was it. only here for three guys. Uh, Jess says you're missing out on so much content not filming that's this the story. Though. That's the story of our life. I don't I'm, even think we've taken a picture of it. I'm missing out on content not recording this, this content here. <laughs> I, have, I do have front door cameras and plenty of footage. Yes. Uh, on my on my thing here, but he's got he, he's got it. He only comes out at night. He only comes out at night, so a lot of it's night vision. Yeah, they're nocturnal. Uh, but it's. I do have, like, the camera out there recording. I'm like, now. Nah. Last night when I opened the door and I peeked out, he was there. And I was like, hey. And I stomped my foot. And he came closer. He was like, what? What you got? I want food. He's, uh, he's stoked. I like yeah. him. I, I, I just don't. He just can't live under our house. Legit, he's beautiful, guys. He is, he is very so, beautiful. He's so interesting. And, like, huh, but a million reasons. Now. Tristan says, if there's babies, then you have to keep one. I know, oh. right? <laughs> <laughs> he only comes out at night, the mean and hungry type. There is no babies at all. Are you sure? They just haven't come out. Dan, uh, no Bradley says, says, hi, Auntie Crystal. Hi, Bradley. We're making lemon blueberry cheesecake bars. Um, no, my raccoon no hookup. 
Oh, there you go. There's our big fatty. Just look at the kid. Look at him. He's so beautiful. But he knocks over my plants. Look at him with his little hands. Put your hands down. Stop it. Just grabbing and digging. He knocks over all my plants. He spills dirt everywhere. If we have a baby, Dude, one seriously, can we... hold the camera. I'll run out and grab him right now. Can we? If we get a baby, can we have? Can we teach him a secret handshake? Because he does have an opposable thumb. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Chris says he can hook you up with some high quality infrared recording equipment. Mm. <laughs> can you? Okay, here's the thing. My my little dinky home, like the ones you put the AA batteries with your five dollar subscription thing, it's dead. So I was talking to Blake about getting something. <laughs> Like for reals for our house, um, I have like these, you know, like the little blinky cameras, but it like fogged over on the lens. So let me know, cause I'd like to get something small with the blade and like put real cameras in our house so we can watch the action. <laughs> we could be tuning in right now live to the outside camera. Like I could hook it to the computer <laughs> put it in, we and can, we can, we can watch that it. instead of baking. It'd Which be much more interesting. It could be in the corner. So I would like to upgrade from this little guy. Christine, the voice of reason, says, never take a raccoon into your house. They eat everything in sight. They're aggressive and fear nothing. No, we have lazy California raccoons. Um, sounds like me, though. <laughs> I, I'm saying. <laughs> really? Yeah. Who said meow? That is Kamiko. I don't know what her deal She's is. She's going she, crazy. Hi, you came outside because there's a raccoon. She needs to run laps. Yeah. She, she needs to run laps outside, but she can't because it's cold and it's dark and, and there's, there's a raccoon, raccoon out there. <laughs> but she's running in here and it's not enough, like, it's not enough top speed for her. So she's going, she's going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Adele says, Crystal, weren't you complaining about being the crazy cat lady? This is next level, girl. Look, I, we're, we're not. <laughs> Jason says, you lost a viewer in Sandy on that note. Oh my yeah. gosh, you say? Sandy does not like raccoons. Oh, like, that's right. I'm so she sorry. She doesn't even want you. They, and in their house, they say the R word. Sorry. They, they don't say I forgot the about word. that. I totally forgot about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Chris says, eats everything in sight, aggressive and fears nothing. You talking about Terry or the raccoon? Yes. Facts. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, Chris, let me know because I'd like to, like, there's got to be some sort of consumer model uh, way to put a few, like, three cameras in the, on the outside of the house. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Brittany pointing out that the raccoon will use their thumbs to let Kamiko out. Yes, yes. No, no raccoon. No raccoon. In the, I'm waiting for him to try to use his See, thumbs to get in the house. He's paying, <laughs> he's paying for himself already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, does the hard work for us. Yeah, next week we'll have a Maurice. Uh, we'll have a Maurice. I call my Kumikos up there. <laughs> no, d don't worry, guys. We are not getting a pet raccoon. By far, yeah. like it's not even an option. It's just a joke. Uh, raccoons go through the cat door to eat cat food at my parents' house. This is why we don't have a cat door because all Jeez. manner of wildlife would be coming in and out. Yeah. Let's make some lemon, blueberry, blueberry lemon cheesecake bar thingies. Uh, I need my 8x8 eight eight baking pan. I didn't get that out yet. <laughs> Brittany said raccoon butler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Oh, can I show you guys real quick? Because it's in my way and I have to take it out anyway. I've shown you guys... Sorry. Wow. I've shown you guys my garlic press. I got this for Christmas. And it's basically a giant garlic press, but it's for onions and like other things and stuff. This is amazing. You pop your little, look, look, my, my organizing heart is so happy. You take your thing, you pop it in here. I think it goes this way. And then you put your onion here and you go like this and your onion is chopped. You should make a hand sandwich. Absolutely not. <laughs> it would definitely cut you. Jason said he had one of these and Sandy took it out of the box and promptly cut her finger open. Like almost had to go to the ER for stitches. Um, Highly recommend this thing. Got it on Amazon. It's super amazing. Maybe Dan can find a link for you. But uh, it slices, it dices, it does all the things. It has the... the Vince <laughs> Offer. <laughs> it has the, it, this thing offer. to slice the things. Doris says, OMG, I have one of those. Isn't it the best? But Crystal, will it chop your nuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have a slap chop. Don't you worry. Do you have a slap chop? It's not branded. That... It's not branded, but I do have like the equivalent to a, a slap chop. But it, it's really horrible and it just makes a mess of the nuts. It's really, really bad. Um, but this, however, is amazing. Oh, he won. <laughs> Sorry, what up, he won? Whoa, whoa. I love he won. Dan, when are you gonna visit God of the Snow Dogs again? Jess, is that you under a different account? <laughs> uh, I don't know. You'll see me out. You'll see me out there at some point. Or she'll come here. Uh, here, my cupboard of supplies is under control, Dan. See Precious back there. Oh yeah, they're Look all a little they're all a little restless right now. They are. They got lunch and stuff, but maybe in a little bit. Is there gonna be some oven time? Yes. Okay. Yeah, like half an hour in the oven, I think. Okay, then yeah, we'll play with them in between there. But they do look a little Friday night restless. 
Uh, Dora says, I love it for not having to chop onions or carrots even. I chopped a huge onion, like so big I had to chop it in half and then each half into quarters to be able to put it in there because it was huge. Two minutes flat, done. Just chop, 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 all nice and uniform, perfect. Um, I made uh, chili. Ooh, and it turns into a mandolin slicer too? Yes. yes! And it grates cheese. Like, I don't own a cheese grater for some reason. Uh, I have my, my big giant food processor that has a cheese grater on it, but it's big and unwieldy. So uh, yeah, it has three oh, different kinds of, of uh, cheese graters, three different kinds of, of chopper things if you want big squares or little squares and just, oh my, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Doris used it to chop apples for her apple dessert thingy. Amazing. Dan, can you find a link to that? I see lots of people uh, asking questions and, and wanting to get one. Uh-huh. It's a Mueller brand, M-U-E. Yeah, I got it. What are you doing, bub? Looking for snacks? Hi. Who's visiting now? It's precious. I can't pick him up and show everybody because he's not he's not a pickup. a pickup cat at all. He he oh, what are you doing? He, he's not not a fan at all. Alright, let's do this. We are gonna start with 10 graham crackers. I tried to do the conversion on graham crackers to graham cracker crumbs, because I have graham cracker crumbs as well. And it was like 0. 0.71 cups. I we're not doing that math. 10 graham crackers. That's what we're doing. Hopefully, uh, Aldi brand graham crackers are the same size as Honey Made or whatever, because we're using 10 of these. That's what I've got. Uh, Hila the Husky Shorts. Hello, friend with the super chat. Hey, guys, it's Hila. My other channel is blocked again from comments. Glad you guys got my postcard. We have 910 subs. Awesome. Congratulations. We did get your postcard. By the way, everything has shipped out except... If you guys want a painting, they have not shipped out. We had a bunch of rain, and uh, I'm very forgetful, so we have not spray sealed them and I'm not going to send them to you guys without sealing them first just to make sure they don't get damaged if they get wet or anything like that. Everything else is out. Um, and even, even your card you left. Uh, Molly's did not go out yet because there was issues with the customs form and we just brought it all home with a customs form. We'll figure it out. It should go out on uh, Monday. Yeah, the, the, the mail lady was persnickety. So uh, that'll go back out on Monday. Dan had to argue about a few things there. But, uh, but yeah, so it'll go, that, that one will go on Monday. The Aldi graham crackers are good. Oh, yeah, they're good. Like, we eat them. I just don't know how they translate size-wise. Um, Husky Mabronica says they're about the same size. Good deal. Glad to hear it, because this is what we're doing. And because I don't like to get out my big, giant food processor, we're using my little one, because this is my favorite little thing. It's so easy, except I'm probably going to have to do, like, two or three batches. So we're putting uh, ten of these in. I think there was nine in a package. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Oh, Martha says I got my card today. Awesome. Monday is MLK Day. Post office is closed. Yes, thank you. Tuesday. Tuesday, if you guys have not gotten your stuff, but all the uh, all the hats and the uh, coloring books and that kind of stuff, that all went out. Just not Molly's thing. Molly, Molly from Ireland. And uh, not the paintings yet, but we'll get those out hopefully this week. Uh, Hilo Husky Shorts with the super chat. Thank you again, friend. My main channel can't comment again for some random reason. I don't know. YouTube? We have issues where people say that all the time, and I, I honestly don't know. Uh, Jess says, I haven't shipped out anything. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I get it. Look, this time of year is just so hectic. I have your card. It's right here. Here we go. It's, it's here. I'll say, who didn't get a Christmas card? Um, we'll start off at $9.99. <laughs> 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 I hear a I need you to go turn on the volume, because this is very high-pitched. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Be right back, guys. Lisa says, I didn't. You Did you not get a card from us? Because I sent cards to your mom for all you girls. If you didn't get one from Jess, that's because you didn't send her one. You have to put yourself on her list by sending one. And Jess says, you guys are on the close friends and family list. Those go out first. Okay. 
Sorry, I gotta do more, guys. I don't know that I've ever put graham crackers in the food processor to make graham cracker crumbs. I always just buy graham cracker crumbs. They're about the same price. Do we not have enough? Is that what we're uh, no, I, I explained the issue because I don't know how to translate 10 graham crackers, which is what the recipe calls for, into uh, an amount of graham cracker crumbs. And when I tried to Google it and do the math and stuff, it was like 14 graham crackers makes... <sighs> 14 graham crackers makes a cup, so then it came to like 0. 0.7 something, 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 something on like five decimal places. And yeah, I just wasn't doing it. Uh, can you turn it down again? Uh, Laura here with all the bright ideas. Measure it this time so you know for the next. That would be smart. Uh, Wilton says, I like taking graham crackers and smashing them into a bowl, putting milk on them, and eating them like cereal. It looks like slop, but tastes so good. I don't doubt that it tastes good. In my mind, the texture of that, like they'd get so soggy so fast, that's not something I would be into. I'd have to put them in my oval and hold them up out of the milk first like I do with cereal. Uh, Mr. Danny Gell says, hello, hello, hello. Glad you are here. Hi. Lily CK says, hello, Dan and Crystal and Terry. I am baking with my family. I am making spanakopita. Oh, Ooh. yum. That is something I want to try to make. I have had it from the um, Greek restaurant out here, and it's amazing. And then I bought it frozen, and it's uh, disgusting. So that's something I would love to make. Let me know how that turns out. Uh, and making chocolate cake and other baked goods. Yum. Well, have fun. Now, one says you can dip the graham crackers in milk like cookies instead. That would probably be better for me. Oh, man, I like, I like graham crackers with frosting on Yes, we do that. If I have ever have leftover frosting, graham crackers frosting go in it, can. for sure. Oh, isn't that amazing? It doesn't even matter so, what. Oh, uh, <laughs> a snack my mom used to make for us when we were little. <laughs> and this is like poor people snacks, guys. You take some graham crackers, you rub some butter on them and you sandwich them. A, a good healthy slathering of butter in the middle. And then you put them in a Ziploc and you throw them in the fridge like overnight. And they become like this perfectly soggy texture that I can't even describe. And I don't like soggy things, but something about the way the butter soaks into the graham crackers is amazing. You guys should try it. Um, it's poor people food, but it's delicious. <laughs> I used to make it for Blake when he was little, but we haven't had it in forever. I guess he didn't like it that much because he never asked for it. All right, one more time with the volume, please. Oh, well done. Buttery saltines are great. Been doing that since a kid. Um. Oh. Try with graham crackers, though. I'm telling you. You gotta leave them overnight, though. You can't eat them right away when they're still crispy. It has to get that mush. It's it's just <laughs> something different. All right, we are done with this noisy thing. Laura, look, I'm gonna be smart and measure it. This is definitely more than three quarters of a cup. one and two thirds cups. If you guys are making this and you want to use graham cracker crumbs, one and two thirds cups for 10 graham crackers. Hopefully that's not too much. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, graham crackers with creamy peanut butter on them, yum. And sometimes maybe a bit of either strawberry or raspberry jam or jelly too, delish. That sounds good too. Mm. Mm. You guys are making me hungry. Okay, what are we doing here? 
processor. Oh, it wanted me to add the things. Oh, I gotta get the big food processor out. Oh. It's the only way to make this the right texture. Talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, I have a. I have a let's dig for stuff. Oh, nobody needs to see my cupboard of shame that has way too much stuff in it. Let's see, yeah, what's going on? Remember when we had our kitchen redone? We were like, oh my god, we have so much space. And then, like, I have a blender and two food processors and an Instapot. I know, we have more contraptions than the dad from Gremlins. There's a Dutch oven back there. There's I don't a waffle maker, all kinds of cake pans. So much stuff. I feel like this food processor is uh, useful in that it's bigger than the other one, but all the other features to it have been replaced by wow. things oh I've gotten Wow, oh my gosh. Recently. This looks like it's about to take off. Did, did Elon Musk put this thing together? <laughs> Oh Look, my gosh. Multiple people recommended that I get this one, and it's it's been amazing. When we make a, a breaded zucchini, I use this because it has this thing on it that on one side is a cheese grater and on the other side is a slicer, and then you just put your things in the thing and it slices or grates it. It's, it's pretty handy. It looks like it's big enough for a human to fit in there. Almost. Climb in, Dan. So I don't, I don't need any of these. Oh, we're gonna have this be pie this week. I don't know. If, I don't know if anything in the world is sharper than the blades from one of those spinning machines. Yes. I believe. Yeah. Okay, that's the right one for that. That's on there. Let's put this in here. Oh, I need to put a quarter cup of sugar is going into this. I'm so excited. For that. Me too. I think these are going to be good. Chris and Amanda said they're amazing. They look good. I want them to fight. I was all, ooh. Mm. Alright, so there's our quarter cup of sugar. Your leveling is rewarding. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I don't know how loud this is. No, I'm try I'll turn it down. sugar are blended together and I gotta do some melted butter which I did not melt ahead of time uh, Gina says her son dropped that blade on his bare foot off to the ER for stitches yeah Dan's always really scared of it uh, when I wash it and he has to dry it So six tablespoons of butter that we're going to melt. <coughs> if I would have just kept it out of the sink, it would have been fine, but now I gotta wash it. I will say, since we've switched to real butter, uh, the melting process is a lot different than using margarine. Margarine like bubbles and boils within like 30 seconds. It's harder to melt plastic. Um, no, it melts faster and it starts to boil and stuff. Um, the real butter does not. The real butter takes twice as long and it liquefies in a better way. Now I gotta move the 15 things I took out of this cupboard. Dan, I really need to manage my, my kitchen storage. It's getting bad. Right. We just need one device that does it all. That's the thing. That is the thing. Is there one? No, but I'll keep collecting them until uh, I've got 52 of them to do it all. All right, so after that, we're going to start with our, uh, our filling. Oh, 
let's get this ready actually. So it wants us to line the pan with butter. I don't know if there's enough on here. No, there is not. Oh, you squish some more on it on that thing. Are you getting any butter? Yeah. Put the knife in the sink again. Blake got, was it chicharrones Blake got? And he put them in the microwave and it still smells like it. Mm. So it wants us to smear the butter on and then line it with parchment paper on top of the butter. Real butter is better for you, good fats. Just like with everything, moderation. Yeah, and I noticed um, I had made my chocolate chip cookies like twice in a row, and one time I used the margarine, which is what I've always baked with because I bake a lot and it's cheap. Uh, and then the next time I used the real butter, and there was a visible difference in the quality of the cookies, and that was really all it took for me to switch over. All right, lined with butter. Just a minute while I do this part. And one of you guys, I want to say it was Adele, but I'm not sure. Somebody told me to do this, and it makes it easier to put your parchment paper in your pan. Uh, I like that you have to crumble it. That's fun. Yeah. It's like an activity. It's like an activity. Like you're at camp. Mm -hmm. That work better and the butter like helps I mean, make it stick in there. parchment paper, it's all smooshed mashed up too. Now that I'm looking at the paper like that, yeah, it becomes, yeah, it's usually so bad. I always have to trim the edges though because I don't like it hanging over, it bothers me. Did you give oh. it a haircut? I'm giving it a haircut. It's getting a little long on the edges. Can you? Thanks. Adele says, Yes, it was me. Well, thank you, friend. I remembered this time. Mm -hmm. What's going on tomorrow night? Tomorrow we will be having our three year anniversary of Dantix. That'll be fun. You'll be able to call in and talk to me. So if you have not seen one of these episodes before, you call the phone number on the screen on your phone. Or if you're not in America, you can call in on Skype. Make a Skype account now so you can call in. And you will call in and talk to me and answer trivia questions all by your lonesome self. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. It'll be to celebrate uh, three years of Dantix. Which and used to be a call in show in yeah. case you guys don't know. Uh -huh. So no, uh, no answering in the chat tomorrow. Just uh, call in and, and put your beautiful voice on our show. Are you breaking out the Danley Cup? Yep. Yep. A winner will be placed on the Danley Cup if... Yeah, if we have a new winner, you'll if get a gold a magnet. Winner. If you guys don't know about that, there is uh, the Eggman Dan head, uh, like logo. And for call-in Dantix winners only, Dan had magnets made with a gold mohawk. And uh, that's the only way you can get one is if you are a Colin Dantix winner. And so far, I think all the winners have them. Check it out. You used to be able to get when when it started. This was my old uh, this was my old travel hockey trophy from the '90s. Oof, dated myself here. <laughs> and I put stickers over it. And the winners of the Dantix episodes got got put on here for our first like you know like six months or whatever. And then now it's on my uh, now it's on my shelf. I love it. That was a lot of fun. That's when this thing was like 1.0. And not 2.0? Mm -hmm. I love it. I forgot when you were here, I should have showed it to you. Okay, so then we're going to add our butter to this and we want it to resemble uh, wet sand. Are you hugging your Danley cup? I mean, it's the best fourth place trophy ever. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Brittany says it took her over 20 call-ins to get her gold egg Dan head. Yeah, it, it's it's not easy. It's it's hard to be on the spot, but it's fun, and you guys should try it. Uh, Dan, you want to turn it down just a little bit? Oh, Blake, you're brilliant. Blake who named the show. Yeah, Blake who named Dantix Dantix because he was sick of Dan's antics, so he called them his Dantix. Um, just said it's the, the Daniversary. Where were you when we were starting the marketing for this? We need to consult you for uh, marketing. Do we have to pay you no, for that? No, because I can't count things like, it's just randomly. It just pops in your head? Yeah. It's not, I can't just like sit down and go, hmm, let me think of something. Well, good job. It's the Daniversary. It's the Daniversary. Uh, Tristan says it's the analog version. I might call in. I'll be at my sister's. You totally should. And uh, when you guys call in, whoever's in the room with you can help. You have five seconds to answer the question. You have to answer before the buzzer goes off. Oh. I gotta like get back into that mode of doing the timer and everything. That's a lot more buttons the, to push. The game comes to a slow crawl when we do the call-in show. You will see tomorrow. We'll it's, see. It's, it's a little different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you have a room full of people, have them watch too. Put put it on speakerphone. Yeah, we're not speakerphone's not ideal because sometimes it does cut out. But but make sure everybody can hear the question and get everybody to help you. And Chris, I'll have to break out the rules right? again. Yeah, it's, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. Are you uh, going back for more chopping? Yes, All right, hold I need on. to mix this in so to make wet sand. The smell of uh, butter and graham crackers Amazing. smells like my childhood. Uh, Chris says his only regret from his trip is that he did not kiss the Danley cup. <laughs> Your only regret, huh? You'll be here for next time. Judy says, hopefully Ben will call in with some jokes. We did make sure to let him know when he popped in the chat last week that uh, we're doing a call-in episode. So hopefully he does call in. It's been a while since we've talked to him. Okay. Okay, we're just going to pour this into the bottom and press it down evenly. Get out. sink. Uh, Dale says, I'm guessing then the law will be back in effect for that night. No, the law for call-in shows is no answering in the chat. You're not allowed to answer in the chat, um, just in case somebody sees the answer before they answer. There is there's a bit of a delay from the, the call in to the stream. Yeah, people will call in and you will hear them talk. Yes. Yeah, so only the person on the phone is allowed to answer. If you are in the chat, you are not allowed you're allowed to discuss the answers after the fact, after the timer's done and they've been given, you know, a big red X or a point, but you are not allowed to answer in the chat. Sam, I expect to hear from you tomorrow. Gina thinks we're making sandcastles. Crystal, use the bottom of a glass. You know, what that's what the recipe says to use. Um, I don't think the bottom of my glasses are flat. Yeah. And this is working quite well. You're killing Gina, who is... Uh, <laughs> what is that photo with you? Is that Memphis? Is that from Novi? Did I take that for you? Or is that, <laughs> did you take that? I think this actually works better. What What is the appeal of using the bottom of a glass? Because this is working quite well. It's getting all up in the edge. My glasses are round. I wouldn't be able to get to the edges and the corners. This is squishing down nicely, though. I'm just trying to get it even. It's still sticking up a little bit in the middle. Pretty oh, that's pretty good. good. Are you so. done with this big contraption? Uh, I am. I'm going back to the, the main contraption. There's too much stuff in my sink. 
You're going back to the mixer? Yes. Okay. Not yet, though, right? Like in the um, yeah, it's it's cream cheese filling time. Okay. All right, I should probably preheat the oven. Oh, damn, neck burn. Is Marco, do you see Marco here? Hey, he Marco. He was here, I don't are know you, if he still is. Are you here, dude? All right, oven goes to 325 for this one, and we are going to put two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. <laughs> huh, you're making me want to break my diet. Exit. That top right corner, the little X there. Click it now. <laughs> Click it now. Do you know what we do here? <laughs> Click it now. Go watch something else on TV. <laughs> Hurry. PJ. Oh my gosh, PJ. 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 <laughs> PJ's always safe. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I'm trying to get the uh, Chris says, if we're going old school Dan takes, I'm bringing back hashtag no sticker Sam. You better. And Shannon says, Sam should be the first caller, like always. She better. Sam, are you still here? Oh, oh, I needed to get this, and that was in the way. I'm just union. little. I don't have big old monkey. Oh, I kind of have monkey That's a union arms. jobs, and you sure do. <laughs> I hope this is softened enough. I, I didn't tell Dan what time to take the cream cheese out, so the I cream didn't. cheese did not get taken out. Do you remember one time I opened the sealed cream cheese, and it was all moldy inside? Was that on the show? Was it? The cheese was old and moldy. I don't know if it was on the show. What's up, Topo? There's Topo. Mooch is sneezing. Topo's right here. Oh, give Mooch a minute. There's cream cheese. Marco's here. So this is, I am. This is how I spend my Friday nights. Hey, dude, did it flood over at your house this week? Like, at your area? Because I imagine you're, like, on the west side. Some, like, somewhere. But did it get all nasty over there? Gina says that yes, it is from Novi. It's Memphis bathing her face with her tongue, and no, her son took a pic. So let's take it down a notch. It's not all about you. Oh, Gina had a nice flashy hat. Did she? Uh huh. What do you mean when you say flashy? It was like bedazzled. <laughs> bedazzled. <laughs> that movie was okay. <laughs> I think that's bamboozled. <laughs> Didn't we also have F bomb Margaret? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah. Where's she yeah, been? Yeah, put the word yeah, out that old school Dantix will be back. He's up. He's up. <laughs> Mooch got the word. He came I running up to me first. I was like, I don't even have anything to trick him with. You gotta wait, buddy. <laughs> you know you just gotta wait a second. We don't make you wait long. Oh, people, people want to see you snack them. Mooch, the cat of the year, according to the people. Oh, right? that's right. 2022 cat of the year. Sorry, guys. Topo was going for it. Oh, I gotta plug it in. Sorry, dude. Your not friend is over here acting up. All right. What's up, Topo? Why are you looking all frantic? Because he wants some cream cheese, but he knows not to get too close to Mooch. I can make this thing happen, kind of. Uh, Marco says more rain tomorrow. Yeah, we're getting like three more days of rain. Oh, nice. That's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So Sorry, dude. This is not working out for you. Sorry. 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 What Mike. are you doing? My try. You make everybody seasick. My tripod's trying to die pod. <laughs> this, this camera's sad. What is this camera? The the side camera. It's like it's, it's seen better days. The camera itself. Oh yeah, it it won't even do sixty frames per second anymore. Oh, well, that's a future. It's okay. It's we don't have to look at it. <laughs> that's your problem. Uh, Christine with the super chat, Mooch and his cream cheese. Thank you it's for the super chat, and right. also it is, and Topo with the cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to save Topo's life by <laughs> keeping him away give, from Mooch. Yeah, giving some he gets some on the face. Uh, Dan said today Baxter Baby went around the house and was trying to give all the cats a bath for some reason, yeah, and he I'll got know. to Mooch. On the, and, uh, on the couch. Got oh something's happened to that camera. Uh, he got one lick in before Mooch uh, shot him down. Yeah, they were all they were all snoozing over here on the couch. They're kind of snoozing out. <laughs> Hannah says four loco Hannah won't make an appearance, but sober Hannah will. Okay, Hannah. please. I'd love to have you sober. Hannah. Yeah, I expect uh, all the regulars. Someone make sure Mouse Queen knows. I'll definitely make a post uh, to remind everybody that it is the the Dan anniversary. Thank you, Blake. Because mm -hmm. um, I, I expect uh, Chris and Amanda and Hannah and Sam and Ben and Mouse Queen, everybody uh, who usually calls in, and hopefully we get some new people calling in. Mm -hmm. 
It's it's your last chance. If you want to talk to Dan in real life, this may be your last chance. There may be no more Dan anniversaries. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. There was never a talk about there not being any more Dan anniversaries or any more call-in episodes. I was just putting it out Are here to try, try to encourage people to call in. I'm not retiring. I'm not. Nothing's happening ever. Uh, so that is. I was just revealing my plot to kill you after the show. <laughs> this one just like went into business for herself here. <laughs> it's just like it's over. All right, our cream cheese is mushy. Uh... Oh, we're supposed to make this twelve to fourteen minutes. I almost skipped that step, you guys. I should really pay more attention. Dan shall live forever. Yeah, you can't Dante Hicks me. Also, it wants the cream cheese in the food processor. I should, I should really read these recipes Seriously, before like I go the, live. It is, it is like OCD and his attention to detail you are. I can't believe week after Here, week. Here's what happens. I make all my, I pick all my recipes and make all the recipe cards before the calendar goes up. So everything's done and picked and, and scheduled on Facebook to auto post. And then I forget all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just laugh like Woody Woodpecker? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so, uh, nice. yeah, here we are. Nice. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to continue on in the mixer because the cream cheese is already in there. And that's how you make cheesecake, right? Uh, I am going to put this in the oven, though. Did that get heated up? No, it's still preheating. Well, uh, hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> should I grab a stick and a string and pull some cake? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, we should have to wait until we put the theme in there, right? We have to wait until we... Put the thing in there, or no? Um, I got a few minutes to kill, because this has to go in for 15 minutes, and I have to make the... Oh, you know what? I have to zest uh, lemons, and I have to wash blueberries, so... Uh, I'm... Is it going to be zestfully clean? Maybe. It's going to be zestfully lemon. That's a I must say, Dan, you bought me this zester with all my permission. Just all on your own, all willy-willy buying things on Amazon, and uh, it works really freaking well. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost ashamed that I used a sad cheese grater for so long. I mean, visually it looks about the same, but... It's it much sharper. And that's why I didn't get one, because it's a cheese grater. It's the same thing, right? No, it is not the same thing. Can we get side cam here? Can, okay. can you see how amazingly sharp it is? No, you can't really. But I promise you, if you don't have a zester and you zest things, get a zester. Not for you, Mooch. Sorry. All right, I put a link to the Zestfully Cleaner. Thanks, It's man. like $10.99 if you want it. Worth it. So worth it. How are these lemons after they were all, like, waxed and stuff? I washed them off. They were all frozen. Uh, just so you guys know, I did wash these before the show. They were all frozen in carbonite. Oh. <laughs> were they? I, tried, I was on the phone with Crystal, and I tried to bring down the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> to, to get them. You told me that you did bring down the cream cheese pyramid. Um, oh, that's because on the cream cheese aisle, they they try to front load. They didn't have any cream cheese, so they try to front load it by putting one box on top of the other with no backbone. So it was just one box is in the front. So when I grabbed the other box, it bumped the box and sent them like train track, like train cars. So I had to pick that up. Are you going to zest the chode? <laughs> Absolutely not. It's the nipple. <laughs> Zest the nipple. I'm not zesting the nipple. I'll zest your nipple if you want. <laughs> Would you like me to zest your nipple? It, it's cool. I'll do it. Like no. right here. Right, What's right up here, with your boyfriends right? and nipples? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why, why are they so low? Stop. He's just waiting for more cream cheese. He is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Dan looks weird with sweats on, right? <gasps> it's a new uh, wardrobe thing, wardrobe choices he's making, and uh, oh. it's, it's weird. Also, uh, Blake apparently has gray sweatpants, so the boys are just running around in gray sweatpants around here all of a sudden. I did it first. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Funny story. Me and my Puma gear, Dan's are Puma sweatpants, too. I had nothing to do with it, though, I promise. No, he did a bunch of research to find, like, yeah, the best did. brand. Like, way more research than somebody should do for a pair of sweatpants. But apparently he's happy with his decision. <laughs> I'm so glad. Welcome to the sweatpant gang. I am not a fan of sweatpants. Mostly, I don't like that they're cinched up around the ankle. I'm not a fan of how that feels at all. 
uh, zesting the nipples, waxing the nose. Tune in next time to see how Dan is injured live and on camera. <laughs> Chris, you're uh, going to be our secondary marketing guy. I need uh, two tablespoons of lemon zest. I think I'll have to zest another one, but let's see where we are at. <laughs> Brittany says it's weird seeing Dan in non-black. Uh, you're talking about your sweatpants. Marco's weirded out by you in sweats, and uh, Brittany says it's weird that you're not wearing black. I've never seen a dude like more interested in like what I wear on my day-to-day basis inside <laughs> my house than Marco. Like, really? Like, you put other men in small packages and beat on their. A broccoli ears <laughs> but you're like what is up with dan's like uh <laughs> why is he wearing perfectly what's up with normal dan's home attire? i got you marco ready <laughs> yes, what uh, yes uh, good job yeah uh chris pointing out that marco's really into dan's pants <laughs> Aww, i like marco okay i think i made that camera right Good job. There's a thing on the screen over here, though. Is it sharp? It's really sharp. Like, do not put your finger on this. It will absolutely cut you. It. Who wants some Dan zest? <laughs> I got a little Ziploc bag for some Dan zest. It's a bad idea. Very bad idea. Um. Yeah, with the, the old cheese grater I had, it was a struggle to zest a lemon, and this is, like, zero effort. It's just zesting. No problem. I know, that smells so good. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah if you guys don't know, apparently all the lemon flavor and smell is in the zest, not inside the lemon. Mm -hmm. Just the sour part is in the lemon. Yes. <laughs> the part that... I know, Mochi, found the source. Yeah, we just put a big bowl of cream cheese in front of him. We're like, never mind that. I, I'm trying to entertain him, but he's not dumb. No, he knows <laughs> there's two whole boxes of cream cheese in there. Marco, do you you have a swimming pool? Yeah, can 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 we come swimming? You know, someday you really have to hang out with him in real life and not just in passing. He came by a couple times. But yeah, in passing. Last time he was here, he tried to leave, like, really fast. Like, he, like, left his refrigerator running. <laughs> That's because he knows I don't like anybody at my house. You weren't even, you weren't even here. <laughs> I think he's scared. It was just me oh. and Terry. It was just me oh. and Terry. PJ with the super chat. Dan, I can't be serious together. Ask my dad. What do you mean? D Dan and I can't be serious together. Ask my dad. Well, he wanted, like, he wanted, like, like family photos. And then I'm like, I'm only doing goofy pics. Dan only takes pictures with, like, one arm and one leg That's because I can't smile. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm not good at, I'm not good at that. Just as I buy my zest in the spices section at Meyer. Like, trade you, zested? I'll, yeah, I'll trade you zest. Weird. You send me, where's your mom at? Never mind. I'm going to talk to your mom. I'm going to send your mom zest. I'm going to send your mom my zest, and she should send me her eggs. <laughs> Brand new sentence. Because I can't afford eggs anymore. It's not a lot like true. <laughs> right? Marco said, come on down. Oh. Pre-zested. I pre-zest it and freeze it. I did not. I had no Is idea you could buy it. No. No idea at all. Okay. I think it's probably about time to get this in here. It says, uh... Is it a coincidence that Dan's pants also has a cat on them? Like cat hair? No. Hair? A puma. Oh. Do you look better than I do. I knew it said puma, but I didn't know there was a little cat on there. What's it going for? That's a puma. He's pouncing. He's jumping on something. Okay. Wow, you're like Dan, he zooming on in, did. aren't you? The puma's doing like Dan did a minute ago. Hannah says, I worked out twice today. Dude, don't do nice. that to yourself. Good luck tomorrow. You're going to roll around on the ground. You better call. You better learn how to dial your phone with your tongue. <laughs> because you're not going to be able to raise your arms and call Dantex tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to add to this a third cup of sugar. My third. From what I can tell, most of Cali is a swimming pool. <laughs> That's from what I saw, too. We're only the nuts uh, go swimming. <laughs> um, in other news, uh, we did some movies recently. We did some movies. We did some movies recently. We did we did like onion peel. We did the onion peel. <laughs> the glass onion, the new, the new Knives Out movie. Um, if, if you guys haven't watched the old Knives Out movie, apparently it's not streaming anywhere. Uh. But you don't have to have watched that to watch the new one. The new one's really good. If you're into, like, murder mystery type things, really good. Really well done. I was very happy with it. All right, so that was a third cup of sugar added to our two oxen of cream cheese. 
I promise you this is not good for you. No mooch. I know. It's not for you, bud. <laughs> so mad about it. He thinks he thinks it is. out of there. All right, we're only adding a teaspoon of flour to this, just a tiny little bit. Uh-uh. You had some already. And don't worry, I have a whole other wrapper for you to lick. Not yet. I'm trying to paste it. Whipping up nice. Uh, then we're adding a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using my uh, fancy clear vanilla that's really delicious. Amanda's back, Amanda, we missed you. Amanda, I almost forgot to pre-cook my crust. I like completely glossed over that part of the recipe, but then I caught it. And you weren't even here to tell me. Uh, Dale says I wanna see that new Tom Hanks movie that's out, A Man Called Otto. Yes, I think, was it a man called? Something auto, yes. Uh, yeah, that looked really good. What else did we watch this last week? We watched some weird stuff. We're gonna pick up just like random things. What did we watch that with? We watched that funky Elvis movie. Oh, that Elvis movie is not good. If you guys haven't seen it, don't watch that Elvis movie. I didn't like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you watched a movie with uh, Colin with uh, McDreamy and or uh, no, it was Ryan Gosling and oh Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe, Russell Crowe. That was all right. They, uh, Amanda said, "Oh no, I had to make my crust twice. What happened? Oh no." The writing was there, but they didn't have good chemistry. Yeah, <laughs> no, no. Twenty One Jump Street had that blow, had that blown out of the way. But it was fun. I still had a fun time with that one. Oh, that was fun. Any lemon think, juice too? I would have like not Ryan Gosling. Yet. I'm not the biggest Ryan Gosling fan. I know, oh, yeah, like, no, women love him. I didn't. Not a fan. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I'm way more the, I'm, I'm way more the other, the other Ryan, you know, Ryan Gosling, the other guy. No. I don't know his name, but they look alike. They look the same. I never remember. <laughs> I don't what know. You know I'm terrible at faces. I couldn't even tell you who looks like Ryan Gosling. The one that looks just like him. Oh, Ryan Reynolds, duh. Uh, Marco says, oh yeah, Ryan Reynolds is good, except he always plays just Ryan Reynolds. And now after That's watching so Tom you. Hanks in the last movie, Tom Hanks is only Tom Hanks now. Pretty yeah. much. I love you, Tom Hanks, but now you're only Tom Hanks in a movie. Uh, Marco says the new Elvis movie is great. Uh, we're going to have to disagree with you. Wait, 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 wait. Are we talking about the right one? Are we talking about the I think one, there's only one Elvis movie. The one movie, that yeah. was like more modern. <laughs> the one that the dude won the award for the other night. With what's her dad? Yeah, it was, it was like it was halfway about Elvis, but it was more about his manager, and it was just kind of meh. Tom Hanks. It yeah. was Tom. It was more about like Tom Hanks playing the same part he played in that movie where he got stuck in the airport. <laughs> that it, was a good one. I like that. Yeah, but it's like the same. It's the same like uh, the new one, Dan. Yeah, Marco. Uh, you know what? I mean, it was like hey. it wasn't. It wasn't bad, but I don't. Yeah, it, it just wasn't what we thought. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say it was bad, but like, because it looked good, but it was weird. Like, the music was weird. For, I've never seen like modern music put over like 50s stuff. No, they did that in something else we watched recently, too, never, that we were. Yeah. It takes you out of it so, when it's yeah. not fully immersed in the, but I the can't, setting. You can't say it's bad. We'll say it's bad because like, we didn't like it's bad, but like, you know, it's it was bad. <laughs> Amanda says, the first one I tried to use golden Oreos and did not use enough cookies, so there was way too much butter in the crust. So I made the second crust per the recipe, and it turned out good. Aw, that sucks. I like the idea of golden Oreo crust. Yeah, and it's weird because, like I said, I tried, I don't know if you were here for it, but I tried to convert the measurement of um, 10 graham crackers, like how much would that weigh so I could use graham cracker crust but it was like 0. 0.7 something, something, something. And when I actually measured out what 10 graham crackers was, it was almost two cups. It was like one and two thirds or something like that. So it, yeah, I, I don't even know. 
Uh, are you going to make cut out Valentine cookies next month? No, um, I have a really good sugar cookie recipe and actually two weeks from now we will be making sugar cookies on the Getting Baked with Crystal 100th episode of this show. It'll be in February, right? Um, no, it's the end of this month. Oh, is it? Okay, it's so the last it's, show it's close. This month. It's close. Um, but cut out cookies, basically like I have to make a sugar cookie and cut them out. The sugar cookie, you have to make the dough ahead of time and refrigerate it for a bunch of hours. So it's not really something that lends itself well to a two hour show. Uh, I will be sharing my sugar cookie recipe before the show. As always, I'll share it on Monday. So if you guys want to make sugar cookies along with us, um, you'll want to make the, the dough ahead of time and have it refrigerated like, you know, at least four hours or overnight. And then you can roll it out and cut it out. Margaret says, I hear the new Pinocchio movie is dark. It oh, is. Just watch it. Was... We won't say nothing. Just watch it. It's different. It's different. You think Elvis is different? That was different. Visually beautiful, but different. Then that's it. I won't spoil anything yes. at all. Watch it, Marco. The other one we watched, though, too. The not the stop. The newer one is the stop motion one. Yeah, the Darth Toro one. And we watched the other one, too, like a few weeks ago. Yeah, with Tom that. Hanks oh, being yeah. Geppetto, which was <laughs> pretty Hanks. much Tom Hanks in the Elvis movie doing Geppetto. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. I, I, I still like, yeah, I like John. I like him. Wait, what movie? I don't know. We've talked about five uh, of them. It was Pinocchio, Pinocchio, and then it was Elvis before that, and then that was nice that was guys? all. Nice that was, guys. Yeah, nice that was the Ryan Gosling movie. movie. Yeah, Blake went to the movies theater and saw Avatar uh, and said it was fun. He said it was beautiful and long. He said it was like almost three hours long, which is like in millennia hours that's like that's huge i saw castaway in the theater and did not know it was a three-hour movie and there's a point in castaway where it feels like the movie's over and you're like oh we get to go home oh there's like another hour left of this and it yeah, just goes weird on movies like on. that when you think it's about to wrap up and then like there's like a lot of it one of the matrix did that act. yeah i i drove down from a hockey tournament up in like northern sacramento like stockton all the way down here and then immediately went to the movie theaters and watched Titanic with a girl. And so I sat for six hours in a car to go sit for like two plus hours in a, in a movie theater. But you know, when you're like 18, 19, 20 or whatever, like, you know, you're never tired. But that was like one of the longest I, I was like 21 when I saw it in the theater and I was done. I was ready for it to be over. Uh, Starry Night says, no, three hours is too long. For a movie theater, absolutely. Like way too long. You have to be really into the movie and not realize that three hours have gone by. At home, I don't mind. I can pause it. I can get up and get a snack and go yeah. pee or whatever. But I don't want to just like sit in the theater That is for the three only hours. reason that I haven't seen any of the new Marvel movies, even when they're here on the TV, is like I don't want to do that for two plus hours anymore. Like... I, like, they keep lengthening these movies, but the world keeps shortening their attention span. <laughs> That's true. All right, we're doing two tablespoons of lemon zest, which is quite a bit of lemon zest. But here we are. I think... Uh, <laughs> Billy said, two and a half hours for Fast and the Furious. I only saw the first one of those, and then, uh, check, I get it. <laughs> I watched, like, number 90 of it. They found their, they found who they were. They tried to be, like, rad and tough, and now they're like, look how much fun we can have. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and now they're silly. Oh, they were in space last episode. Like, they put, like, a rocket on the back of, like, the tweaker bucket, like your brother had, <laughs> and they, like, went up to space. Like, Ludacris is making punchlines in in a, in, in a hoopty in space. Like, it was fun. It That's was, where they had to go nine movies in? It was fun. Okay, so in addition to the two tablespoons of lemon zest, we are adding... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I am. We did the vanilla already. Lemon zest. Lemon juice. And we are doing three tablespoons of lemon juice. One, and a little bit more just because those were not topped off. No. All right, let's get that mixed in really well. Uh, Tristan said she's going to see the new Ant-Man in theaters. It looks so good. That'd be fun. Mooch is hungry. Mooch is mooch. No, he's not hungry. He just wants cream mooch, cheese. Yeah, mooch is mooch. He's moochin'. He earned his name, you guys. He's not named mooch for nothing. What you doing? I don't know. Waiting for a little something. I don't know that mooch should have that because it's got lemon and sugar and stuff in it. That's that's okay. great. Well, good save. <laughs> I thought you. Oh, were whoa! Thing. It's almost there. It's it's a it's a lemony woo or like it's the lemon juice woo. Yeah. 
Ah, huh, huh, you guys can see my bad face. <laughs> Is that your lemon face? It's ingredients. More blurry mooches in focus. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's ingredients. Yeah, I'll go fix that real quick. All right. Okay, then we're gonna add egg and egg yolk. No, Chris, I am not separating this by hand because I know you're gonna ask. Then he said they're doing Titanic at the drive-in. Oh, will you take me? Oh, that's cool. And maybe you can drop me like one of. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. You guys know that drive-in off of what, like 67th or 57th or something? Ah, here? No, no, no. I'm talking to Chris. <laughs> I wanna go to a drive-in. Uh, Chris says you gotta keep them separated. I hate you. Is that what you're doing right now? What? Separating eggs. I separated one egg, yes. Oh, then what, you didn't but like do it in front of Chris? Hands. Like, what, you not like hit it? I don't do it with my hands. It's in, it it's in Canada. Oh. Oh. oh, Canada. Oh. I like how when people try to put the Canadian flag, it just doesn't come through and it just says CA. That's America for you. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, there's the, Other the, emojis work. The movie theater on the boulevard has, like, recliners, so All right, that's so crazy. Again, this said to make it in the food processor, which obviously we are not doing. Um, I gotta take that out in, like, 20 seconds. But it says to uh, put the eggs in and pulse a few times until fully incorporated, but don't overmix. So we don't want to screw this up. And then we're gonna fold in the blueberries. I still need to wash those, but I gotta take this out and like. F fans, it's not, it's about the journey. It's about the journey of Titanic. I went to see Top Gun last year. We have those on my TV ready to go. I'm, I wanna, I do wanna, I do wanna see the new Top Gun. But then I said it out loud the other day. And then so, you know how it goes where like your phone serves you up stuff? So then I opened up my like TikToks Stop. or whatever. And it served me up this picture of Tom Hanks with his like weird teeth when he was younger. Like, oh. And then like I got mad and threw my phone. <laughs> if you guys don't know, you should Google like t or Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise like goofy face. And they got smart at the grocery store and started bad. taping the blueberries closed. I can't tell you how many times I've seen the blueberries all over the place, all over the ground. <laughs> I know, and after I watch that that movie Sausage Party, I'm like, oh no, <laughs> the blueberries are crying. Jesus, he had three front teeth. Yeah, that photo scared me. It scared me. Our last drive-in closed last year. I only went to one when I lived in LA, like in Garden Grove when I was a kid. But I haven't been to one as an adult, or you know, even like a young kid. So I'd like to go. A, I went once when I was like seven or eight and saw. Uh... <sighs> No, I suddenly can't remember what it's called. It has uh, Michael J. Fox. Oh, it was no, it was no. the one where he was the he's um, like humping the lady in the to, office. How to be successful at the, the secret, secret to, to my, my success. success? Is that it? Yes. I didn't see that one, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was not appropriate for children. In case you were wondering. No. Dude's a reptilian. That's not human. That's cool, then. If you're like like, that's kind of hot. If you're a reptilian, I like that. Um, like I said before, I saw Money Pit and Rambo 3 was like a double feature, I think. Uh, Alec is here. He was sleeping. Hi, Alec. Nobody, Alexa, stop. talking to you. Alec, I sent you a card or something. Yeah, your stuff is in the mail and on its way. Yeah. It hasn't arrived yet. Okay, so it wants a cup and a half. Amanda said she used two cups, so we may, we may go a little bit over. Let's see how Bye, Chris. Bye, Chris. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Dale, you don't have to have a car to go to the drive-in theater. You could get a cardboard box <laughs> and then some straps, like some overall, or like some some straps, some overalls, and then you could hook it to the box and you go. Burr. Did you ever make and cardboard go box seating when you were a kid, like to mm. watch TV? Oh no, uh, uh. I had really big pillows, kind of like the one Mooch was laid on. Like we had a few of those that laid around the house, so I built like little forts and stuff. Oh. But I never took cardboard and modified that. We That's made a good like idea. cardboard box couches. I have a, I guess it's a cousin. Mm -hmm. They're they're older than I am, but I think it's cousin. Uh, that is a kindergarten teacher, and every year at the end of the year, she posts on Facebook. Uh, has the kids bring in cardboard boxes and like they color them and make a little car to sit in to watch a movie on the last day of school. That's kind of cute. Oh, that's kind of cool. I had those plastic PVC pipes with that, like, made into a tent. Like, that was the, the the bones of it, and then, like, the plastic went over it. Like, and it was, like, a little kid's tent. Like, I'd have, like, one of those, but I didn't... 
I never thought to, to do anything like that. Alex said, I got it today. Dan, nice. you did so well with the Braille note. I love it. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So how did that go? Because I tried to push hard onto the index you... card. So I took an index card. Not on the postcard, right? I took an no. index card, no, postcard. and I tried to write dots on the... I tried to write dots on the postcard and push... Like, take a pen and push through, did like, holes. Really? But I don't know. Did I push too hard? Is that, did I write in all caps? <laughs> Because I was pushing and some of them like pushed really hard. Did I, did, like, could you read it or was that just like, was that just bad? Do you roll your eyes? I'm like, oh man. Do you call it reading? Do you read Braille? Yeah. Is it, is the, the verb for that is read? Uh, I don't know. I imagine you like acquire the data. Like it's, it's like, it's uploading data. Because there's a debate about whether listening to an audio book is called reading a book. To me, it's a matter of uploading versus downloading. Like I'm downloading, I'm talking right. and you're uploading because you're listening. So it's just that. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients in here. We're just gonna add our egg and our egg yolk and we're just barely gonna mix it till it is mixed or like combined. Ah, you sit here. I'm trying to mimic the pulse that a food processor would do. I like it. I think it's a genius. Uh, Denise Gremlins is a great movie. I watched it just like a we month or so ago, month, yeah. and it holds up. It's a little darker than than what I remember it being. I liked it. Isn't it good to be a kid sometimes? You don't have to remember the darkness. Right. Uh, Alex says, that was how I thought you made it. Also, yes, it was easy to read. Also, yes, it is said reading Braille. Okay. I'm guessing by now there's no debate about that like there is with uh, listening to audiobooks. Oh. Yeah, okay. So I did it, even though, like, it was sloppy. I'm like, impressed that you did that. I tried. Was it was nice. sloppy. He took his time, friend. He took, Dan took his time. Yeah, there's a hole in my finger. <laughs> I had, I, you might have done it wrong. I pushed it through the other way. Um. Then I saw that there was this little thing for doing it correctly, which it's a little 3D thing with the six dots in it. So then you, like, draw the square and the outline of it, and then you fill in the bubbles that you want. So it's... Even, it's even, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. So the spacing almost, of the dots is. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like graph paper with the dots, or the spacing of the of the dots, like Scantroni. I thought that was cool, but I just like brought it up on the screen and like like wrote it neat and then poked through it. I was gonna say more, but like an hour later, I was just like, hey, <laughs> "How's it going?" <laughs> It was like the first recording on the record, you know, like when it was just like a second or two of the first photo or, a, you know, it's, it was like that. Hey, Amanda, are you still here? Dale says, I refer to it as partaking of an audiobook. Okay. But like when you're done, the information's still in your head. So it is just like if you read it. Yeah, you've uploaded it. Someone the data. else read it to you. I don't know. I don't listen to audiobooks. I don't have the attention span. Like I have to be doing something with my eyes. I don't think Amanda's here. Marco says, audiobooks work for me. They're great. Like, I'm glad that that's a thing that's become popular for people who don't read. You listen to the Steve Jobs, like, 15-hour audiobook. It was, like, 24 hours. I listen to podcasts, though. Like, I feel like probably... I, I can read with my eyes faster than somebody can read out loud. So it's it's too slow for me. I don't like reading. Reading is useless for me. So, like, the audiobook is is good. Like, there's no, re there's no reading for me. The most I've ever read in my life is this chat. Uh, for yes, we can see Yeah, I see your we comments. We can see you. Um, here's the thing. We'll read a comment, and then we talk, 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 and then, like, there's new comments based on what we were talking on, so we can't read every comment. I did read your comment, um, and I was thinking in my head about records. I, yeah, I do see your comment <laughs> about buying a new record player. That yeah. is still on the screen. Uh, had no idea how expensive records are nowadays. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what kind of music you're into, but for the stuff I'm into, they'll release something and you have to like hurry up and buy it or they sell out and you immediately have to like go on eBay and pay five times as much for it. So you better hurry up and buy it when you see it. But I missed out on stuff the- cheap stuff like at Walmart and like Target, like you can get a record there for like 20, like 20 bucks. I would say they average bucks. about 20 bucks. Look yeah. for used records, depending on what kind of music you're into, but we have found uh, good cheap used records. See if there's like um, used bookstores or used well, record stores. It's hard these days. Everybody goes on eBay first. Before yes, and hard. records have made a comeback. Uh, Discogs was a good yes. website. Yes, check out Discogs. You can make a uh, a wish list of what you want, and you'll get emails when they're yeah. up for sale. You can keep track of your stuff. It'll it'll give you a price list of of, of what your stuff's valued at, and people that are trading. Uh, I purchased a, a record once uh, off of Discogs. I don't know if you have you ever done any stuff on there. 
I have a Discogs account. I get emails from them constantly. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. But you could like put anything. your you could like put your record collection in there and stuff, and it'll kind of like tell you like its value, or like you can click it yes. to like trade or sell. Absolutely. Uh, Scott cool. says when I'm driving, I like audiobooks better than the same music over and over. I listen to podcasts, but when we worked at Q Smith, I used to listen to before I uh, before I started bringing my laptop in and just watching TV while I worked because I was busy with my hands and doing things. Um, I would listen to audiobooks, but then I moved on to just watching TV stuff and, and I now, audio I audiobook. I, I just po- I'm so behind on all my podcasts. Jason told me today that he subscribed to one of the podcasts, uh, Patreon, a podcast that he and I both listen to. And he said, I'll see if we can log in on two accounts and I'll share my information with you so you can be even further behind because I'm like three years behind on that one. So far behind. All right. Amanda's not here to answer me. I don't know if we're uh, coating these in flour or not. And should we? What do you think? There's not really flour in the recipe. You told me like a teaspoon. You told me outside oh. that the reason the blueberries don't sink to the bottom is because you coated the flour. So I should probably coat it after flour. I. Yeah. Yes. I, I just wasn't sure because there's not flour in. The I blamed them. It's like a teaspoon. I blamed it on Let's being it. frozen. Know that's a fail it is. Are these not washed? Those are not washed. Those those a couple are. No, here. because that's gonna mess up your weight. Uh, Jennifer says twenty dollars is expensive for someone who works retail. Twenty dollars is expensive for music, period. Like with things like Spotify that you can subscribe to now and have all the music in the world. Here, this one's washed and it's on the counter. Um, absolutely, it's expensive. You have to be very selective. I don't buy records very often, and I wait and like, oh, that one's coming out. And, okay, I'm gonna buy that one. And um, I I slowly curate a record collection. I was also lucky enough that my parents had a record collection that I inherited. Uh, so most of my records are older, uh, Fleetwood Mac, The Beatles, Elvis, stuff like that, that I inherited from my parents. You should try to treat your record collection as your favorites. Um, don't go collecting records. Just, you have a, you know, get a Spotify account. Collect the things that make you, just a few things that make you happy. Just because the new T swifts out, like, don't grab it on record. Maybe that's like, what makes her happy. Well, just, but like, just stick to your favorites and that'll be better. Otherwise, yeah. you'll, you'll go crazy. For what I buy, I mostly buy Less Than Jake records, honestly, these days. Uh, there's a handful of other things I buy here and there, but... Otherwise, it's just digital. Yeah, I'll just listen to it digitally, because that's that's most of the time how I listen to music. Like, for my life and what I do, I rarely... I don't even remember the last time I put a record on. I still buy them. Couldn't I, even tell you the last time you I know, put in one our on. closet, Crystal's we'll got... Maybe 50 cassettes of stuff. I do. Like, just cassette I need cassettes to get that closet. thing to... Uh, you need, to, you need to bring it out and show everybody. No, you guys, you let people know what's up. That brown thing um, that's that's got all the cassettes in it that spins yeah. around. Anybody from Southern California, I'm, I also inherited my dad's recordings of uh, Uncle Joe Benson would play full albums on Sunday nights, and my dad would record them. And I have I have those. Uh, don't carry that whole thing out here. It is very uh, like you'll dump the whole thing if it's even off balance a half a little bit. I hope he hears me. It doesn't balance well at all. All right, so I just coated these in a little bit of flour, so hopefully they don't sink to the bottom. We're mixing this in, and we're going to pour it into our crust and put it back in the oven for 35 minutes. Just grabbing cassettes. I found a. I pictured I you bringing the whole thing out here and oh, tilting it. I and was counting. Was there's down. over a hundred of these things, um, and there's more. There's like hundred, at least a hundred uh, DV uh, CDs in there. Yes. So here's a blank one, but then I found this one here that just says uh, the good shit. That's that's the good shit. Is it? So my brother and I used to have a little beat box that we kept in the bathroom, and. Uh, we would both do it, but mostly I would make compilations from all the good shit. And that would be our, our bathroom music for when you were showering and getting ready for work and whatnot. Oh my gosh, not the Mighty Mighty Boss Toad. Yes! Uh, can, can we get a rundown of what's on here? Okay, the first song is It's Still Summer Somewhere by All. I think that's all? Yeah. You still listen to that song a lot. Yeah, I love that song. I didn't realize that song was this old. Uh, Hope by Sublime. Yes. Boring Town by Less Than Jake. Yes. You Say You Don't Love Me by The Buzzcocks. Oh my God. Uh, BHG, Picking On Me. Nice. That song. I can't think of who that's by. 
Uh, the Impression That I Get, nice. Sliver by Nirvana, nice. Time of Your Life by Green Day, Good call. Tree Hugger? I don't know. Uh, it's more or less than Jake. It's glaring. Uh, Bouncing Souls. No comply. Body moving. Some I, that's Beastie Boys. Yes. Uh, more less than Jake. Green Day. Descendants. Hong Kong Fui. He's Yay. the number one super guy. Hong is it the, Kong is it the Kong 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 Saturday morning cartoon? It is. Album? Oh, yes. if you guys don't know about the Saturday morning cartoon album, you should go check God. that out. Can you check if that's on Spotify? Do you have Spotify, Terry? I'll look right now. Everclear. The Gorillas. Oh, one time I, I liked Everclear, so like one song. About his dad so that, hard. that Everclear's not good shit. Really? Anymore. It wasn't me. <laughs> that, that's on the good shit album? It wasn't me. <laughs> that was my jam for a minute. There is there is the mixtape wise, there was at least thirty of these things. We made over there. bathroom compilations. And then, and then here's like the bla- here's blanks that are that are in there. Aw, oh, I miss compilation tapes. I spent so much of my like teenage and early twenties years. Making compilations. Yeah. I had a five disc changer and a tape deck, a dual tape deck, and I would just sit there making all the things. Yes, it's on there. Uh, <laughs> F. Vance says, Did she say Buzzcocks? That made me chuckle. The Buzzcocks is a really good punk rock band. You guys should check that out. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh, Dr. Detroit Stream Stuff, member for 19 months with a member super chat. Thank you so much. Almost forgot. Anything with cheesecake in it is a win. Happy 2023 year of the mooch. No, 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 no. He was last year. Yeah, he's, he's 2020. Uh, happy birthday, Terry, wherever you are. She's over there chilling in her jammies. I am in my jammies. Uh, Tristan says, God, I miss CD playlists from friends and boyfriends, right? And all the effort you would put into one and give it to a boy, like, he's going to understand all my feelings. He'd be like, cool, thanks. And not even, like, understand the depth of your soul that you put into that. <sighs> terrible. My terrible. the best taste music. Okay, so we got everything in here, 325, 35 minutes, uh, until the edges start to brown, and the mixture only slightly jiggles when shook. Update, Saturday Morning Cartoon Breaking Hits is on Spotify. Nice, yeah, if you guys um, have access to anything where you can stream music, go check out the Saturday Morning Cartoon's uh, soundtrack album, I guess. There's it's, a couple of it's like so It's not just me... punk, though, it's like no, it's you got... can't play any of it. No, I'm not going to play any of it, I was going to show them the album cover. Yes, go ahead. This camera, this camera's on. Oh. That's what the album covered. Right. I own it on actual CD. I bought that and played the hell out of it. And I know out. way more uh, cartoon theme songs thanks to that. Uh, PJ with the super sat- chat says, I was just listening to the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, the impression that I get today. I'm pretty sure the Disney Channel theme is derived from that, yeah? I don't know. The I Disney can hear it in theme. my head, you're right. I can see that. Uh, Marco pointing out that HR from Bad Brains is playing tonight at Transplants. Yes, you know, I had is. friends that were into Bad Brains. I like never, Brains. never got into them. Uh, sure. Not that I don't like them, it just didn't get into them. Just it missed me. It missed me. Alex says I made lots of mixtapes as a teen. Oh, so many mixtapes. Can you help me real quick? My glasses are stuck on my hair, but if I pull them off, they're gonna it's gonna rip my hair out. This happened the other day as well, and I just pulled it off. And it went <laughs> you have a rip, sure that and at my age, I try to like tape it back that. onto that spot. I'm like, that's oh, all sideways. You have to sure they're all the way straight before you put them on, man. Oh yeah, that that got. Thank you. That was stuck. Uh, Beer and Bug is here. Finally, I'm not driving. Hello, hello, Beer and Bug. We are talking about mixtapes. We sent you something. So get the something. Yes. It yeah, might be we, there today. We did send you a thing. Uh-huh. Uh, Monday or Tuesday you went and sent that? Mm-hmm. Did I put 25? It was t- Tuesday. Oh, how do I add 10 minutes to this? We'll, we'll give this a second and then I'll add 10 minutes. Uh, Adele says, I have two brand new and plastic packaging blank cassettes stashed away. Don't ask me why. I just do. It's I know can... why. Because we bought the hell out of them and we used them. And then at some point we stopped using them, but we didn't use up all of what we had. At some point they were very inexpensive. You know how like yes. now you see Polaroid film or camera film and it's super inexpensive? They weren't expensive. You were getting packs of them for really like cheap and then, like, same with blank CDs. For a while there, you know, you were getting... Oh, we had a big old spindle of blank, yeah. c- blank CDs I when, like, we stopped do. using them. I have a hundred pack of verbatim <laughs> still sitting in the back room with about 50 of them just blank. The nice yeah. blue bottom We verbatims. switched over but never used the last of what we I, had of that technology yeah, before switching to the I, new tech. I don't even know if there was... Uh, we have a burner. Um, when I was in computer school... Uh, the AOL craze went around where every day in the mail you would get another AOL CD because <laughs> back in the day you'd pay internet by hours 
um, you'd buy hours of internet, but the AOL free CDs would come with like you, you couldn't pick your screen name. It would give you some screen name. It'd be like Lazy Bucket one, and I'm like, all right, what? Well, <laughs> yeah, bucket. it was. It was like it was like I, basketball I yams. My like, dad weird. always had internet. We never used that. Like my, so, my dad was super into internet. So so like and okay so right so everybody would get these every day in the mail, and one would come with like a thousand free hours and and stuff. I mean, so then at computer school, we'd all show up with them. And we had a fish on the wall. Like they would make, they made a fish on the wall, a big yeah. fish on the wall. It was popular with the to discs. make art out of them. Yeah. And then there was a dowel that went all the way up, and it was just stacked full of just AOL CDs. Yeah, those are crazy. We were putting them on Dremel tools in school, <laughs> and they were like flying around and exploding. And yeah. Oh uh, yes, we did a mosaic with the CDs. Uh, it was a big like, it was a big like the like the narwhal fish, but not the mar marlin. Like the real one, like it's it, it was like a sword. It was like the it's like the blue, and it's like from Florida. Hey, you're from Florida, Tristan. Like you know, and it's like it goes in the air. Like you know. And it's got that on there. It was like that on the wall. It was one of those. Hey Dan. Huh. Let me find it now. Uh, F Vamp mixed a tape once, and got a spanking for ruining his dad's blender. <laughs> <laughs> I do still have my stereo by five disc CD changer. Oh. Remember, you'd have to get out of your car and go to the trunk and open it up. That's and wait for your for car. That's to different. Disengage. Um, when I graduated from college, the gift that I wanted, my dad was super like an audiophile so much. Like my dad had huge speakers set up in each corner of the living room for full surround sound. He was super into like audio. Even though music. back then it's only stereo. So he <laughs> sure we're setting up 12 speakers, but we're Didn't only matter. in the two channels. Um, my dad bought a 100 disc CD changer and then one 100 disc CD changer on the radio. So we had 200 disc CD changers stacked on top of each other. We had all this music stuff. And they just had racks. You pull out a rack yes. and load like Four racks five or six of them and load them and it would swallow this rack like a VHS cassette. <laughs> yes. And then it would like do something in there that only could be described as the doozers from Fraggle Rock. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so bad. like you're picking up the CD and looking at it in the light, trying to read the music and trying, the guys trying to like get the band in there to play. Yes. And then, yeah, yeah. and if you try to so, switch discs, it, it sounds like Transformers. So. Prior to graduating college, I had what all of us in the 90s had, which was your little beatbox with the speakers that slid onto the side that you mm -hmm. could like pop off and move around oh, the yeah. room if you uh -huh. wanted to, and you could buy extra speaker wire, which we had yes. tons of, because my too. dad yes. was into that thing. Yes. Um, <laughs> so you could like have your stereo set up and then put your speakers over on the other sides of the room. Uh, so that's what I had. That's what we all had. And then I'm like, no, I'm an adult now. I graduated college. I need a stereo system. So we went and picked out... Um, the it's not a mixer what was the thing the tuner thing or mm -hmm. whatever receiver receiver i got a receiver a five disc changer and a dual cassette player and i was god i i had all the music when we moved in together i had that five disc changer and i would put in five of my favorite cds and i'd put it on shuffle and just like you said with the hundred disc changer it would play the song and then and then your song would start like yeah, as it I, flipped to some other random it was song so in the bad. disc. Like, are you so seeing bad. Optimus Prime on the side off in the living room there? There is a lot. You had but I could put on five CDs at once, you guys. Yeah, and you had your receiver. It was so good. It was so big deal to get bigger speakers. Or when you'd come into a speaker like, oh, nobody's using this dusty thing. You drag it off in your room. <laughs> yes. My very first car was like a Malibu station wagon, an old like eighties Malibu station wagon, and I had a house speaker that I drug into the back of that car and wired it in there uh, because I wanted to have that. Oh, yeah, everybody had the big old house house speakers. We were jamming. Uh, Jennifer says her dad had the same thing for watching movies, to feel like we were in a theater. Oh, my dad loved yeah. that. And, oh, man, when Grateful Dead Touch of Grey would come on and he'd turn it up so loud and, like, stand in the middle of the living room and, like, I don't know, play drums on something. But technology like, oh. was only big, though. Yes. It was only oh, everything big was house speakers. Huge. It was bigger. It was square, light, empty boxes. <laughs> yes. With and now, in um, and... all the music in the world, pretty much, except for one of my cassette tapes that does not exist on Spotify, and that's why I want to digitize it, is on here, which can connect wirelessly to my every, sound bar with the subwoofer. Every old person's and, pissed off. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm pissed off. Look at my tape and CD collections. <laughs> and I don't want to get rid of them because if the computer crashes, I lose all my music. Like, it's all uploaded from the CD. You'll, so. you'll be mad the day that, you know, we start uploading, and then you won't ever hear music. It'll just be you. It'll, like, be it'll just in my be brain. in your brain. So <laughs> no, no I'll be happy because I won't have to hear this <laughs> music at the Walmart. Yeah, it'll just be inside. It'll just be, like, inside your head. Uh, Kathy says, we used to stack our 45 records, and they would play them all. Yep, the same thing, huh? Lift it up and out of the way. 
Hannah says uh, her dad still has a kick-ass stereo system. Yeah, my dad like went to the grave with that, and then we're like, say "What that. do we do with this?" Those nobody are gonna die this. with the people. Absolutely, nobody, yeah. nobody wants that anymore. Where is my strainer that I used for the blueberries? Uh, in the, it's, no, it's here. I, I was trying not to be a smart ass. Like, oh, is it in the sink? I know, but I didn't. Yeah, see it. remember it's Napster? Like... I do, but I was I was more on LimeWire than Napster. Uh, I was more on and Kazaa. Setting it to oh Kazaa, yep, we did Kazaa yeah, and Limewire. Kazaa and Limewire. Setting it to download Nap- like fifty songs before you went to bed and hoping three yeah, of them finished. Napster was too spammy. Oh yeah, Amanda remembers having a stereo where I would record a song from the radio and get mad at the DJ for talking over mm-hmm. the beginning of the song. To this day. You do you still listen to songs that you had recorded and you like hear that like why isn't this part in that song or like the the mixtapes when when I hear one of the songs that was on the mixtape in my head it should be the next song on the mixtape like that that's the next song that right. plays because I played right. those so much right yeah mine too mine was on play record and pause we're just waiting for ha ha ninety seven point seven FM what song was it gonna be and then like you you don't pause it and it's not the song you want and then you pause it again and rewind it so you can record back over that I, I will say did you ever put tape over like you had crappy tapes that were purchased and you know how when you recorded a tape you had to pop out those little squares at the top so ah, you, yes. couldn't, record so you couldn't record over but it but you'd have a crappy tape that you didn't want anymore so you'd tape over it so you could record over it I taped over like Halloween sounds <laughs> I remember hopping out of the shower because there, the Nirvana had like the Nevermind album, and then they released their first song off of their second album, and it was new Nirvana I had never heard before because there was no internet, so like you heard music when it came on the radio. Right. I hopped out of the shower and I went and I hit record. I didn't care what I was recording over because I was I didn't care what I was recording over, and I recorded like half of all apologies <laughs> from Nirvana. I can still hear it in my head and see me doing it. And I recorded like the last half of it. I'm like, what? analyzing it. What is this? What is it? Nobody talked about it afterwards. And went on to the next song. Then the DJ came on and off it went. That was the worst when and you I'm heard like, a song and did this? not know what it was. You could do nothing there about was, it. There was nothing. a song. So K Rock was the LA station that we still to this day do not get up here. But they played way like edgier. Uh, more alternative stuff than you could get on the mainstream station out here. And I remember going to stay with a friend for a weekend and being like, I have to record K-Rock. So I have a whole cassette tape from K-Rock. And there was this one song by the band Nails. Uh, K-Rock was LA. It was, that's, yes. That was like the big so, LA So LA. Well, like, you guys have probably heard of it just because it was that big. Like, everybody knows about it. The Weenie Rose. Um, Yes, they do the K-Rock K- Weenie Roast, the all, all acoustic Christmas. They're still doing that stuff, by the way. But there was a song by the band Nails called, uh, it was like 88 Lines About 88 Women or something like that. And it was such a silly, stupid song. And I loved it. And I had no idea what it was. And you came was. back to the Animal Valley with it? Yes. And, and like, I was like, I love this song. This. And it wasn't until like the internet became big enough to like search for things that I was able to find out what that song was. I had no idea forever what the heck it was. And Marcus says, yeah, you can stream K-Rock. Um, at the old print shop... Um, in the, when we were in Palmdale, up against the back wall before um, a Mexican radio station took it over it, we would be able to get 97.1 from San Diego, and we would be uh, able... 97.1 or 99X? It's 99X, the X. Yes. We would, we'd be able to you get the X. You could get that in the corner where yeah. Luke sits on his computer. If my stereo system was in that corner, I could get it. It's San as Diego soon as I rearranged three my room, hours, get it. Yeah, San Diego is three hours away. We had it in Palmdale for a while, and then eventually it got over overtaken by another frequency. But I was pretty happy with with that. We know back in the early eight, late eighties, early nineties, we had pirate radio out here. It was hundred point oh, one yeah. pirate yes. radio. Yes, remember when pirate radio went bubblegum? Yep. I yeah, it went to ninety seven point. It, it went to pretty much ninety seven point seven FM. Do you remember you could put on ninety nine point nine and get was it MTV or what was on the TV? No, it was one or the other. But I could record would never, stuff that was on. It TV. would never work for me. That's I, how I recorded that I was Green Day concert. Good at technology, and it was it, it, it wouldn't for I, could, I couldn't do it. I oh. couldn't do it. You should have come over, my dad. It was confusing. You. I'm like, how does this like these are two different things? So I didn't know how that worked since it screws into the back of your TV. How is it producing a signal? I don't know, but it worked. So I was able to record I like unplugged and concerts that were on. Did uh, you watch these right now? I just did. That's why they're wet. I don't even know what's going on in the chat. <laughs> We're just reminiscing about being old. 
Uh, PJ says, the first time I heard Uncle Cracker smile, I was 17. I was in a gift shop in 2009, and I had to text myself the lyrics and then Google them when I got home. You could not even Google. So there was Hoobastank's Crawling in the Dark was on a Mountain Dew commercial, and I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember that the car launched in the air and flipped over as the song played, and I loved that song at, like, 21 years old. And I went, I was at the pool hall. I could not figure out what the hell it was. You couldn't Google on the internet to, to find it at that point. This was, like, 2000, 2001. I was at the pool hall one day, and it comes on on the jukebox, and I dropped everything and ran over to the jukebox so I could figure out what song this was, because it had been haunting me from this damn commercial forever. And that's how you found out what music was, because you could not Google stuff like that. I, I was in the Toys R Us at, like, nine years old, okay, over there, and inside this big glass case, there was a TV playing a uh, different... Nintendo had just come out, like, N Nintendo was, like, two years old, and... And it was showing all these games. And then it went to Mike Tyson's punch out and it entered a code and went straight to Mike Tyson. And I ran out to the car with my mom. I'm like, Mama, can I go back inside? And I waited for like 10 minutes on this loop. And I wrote down <laughs> half the number and waited again and wrote down the other half of the number. And I ran back to the car and I went home and I and then I hit 007 373 5963. And then went to Mike Tyson and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. And that was like how you got stuff back then. You like stumbled upon things like you were Frodo. Like you were Frodo. <laughs> Marco says this stream just turned into memories. Did, that no. happens sometimes. We gotta teach the youngins what, what it was all about for us growing up when we didn't have cell phones with all of the information in the world in our pocket. Hey, these are actually good. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, how come they're not crunchy? Because they're not boy. They're not crunch berries. <laughs> <laughs> they're not blueberry. They're they're not um cereal? What are the berries that are little tiny? Blackberries or yeah, they're not, they're not, or raspberries? Yeah, so they're not like crunchy like that. That fan says, What's a jukebox? Joking. I didn't learn how to play guitar. All it's right, where we wasted all of our money when we went out in public with our friends. And PJ says, never mind what life was like before YouTube. I remember when eBay first became a thing and buying all kinds of things on eBay and then being like, oh crap, I won that auction. I don't really want that. And then there was no consequences. <laughs> there was no consequences. No consequences none at all. all. Uh -huh. Not at all. It was like late 90s and it was all text. eBay was only text based. There was like no photos. And we were trading in St. Cloud Bossy merchandise back in the day. It was so sketchy. You oh, just didn't, sure. know you didn't know what know was if you were getting your stuff or anything. Eighty percent of the time it would be good. Twenty percent of the time you'd be get ripped off. A beer and bug says the edge used to simulcast retro rage eighties music from a club, and I tape it occasionally. It took me fifteen years to find out what Don Quixote No Estana Key was. I don't know what that is, but yes, I feel your pain. Absolutely. I'm just like, I don't know what this is. I know this song, but I don't know what it is. Because you couldn't... Nowadays, if you hear something, or even if you just get, like, a little earworm, a, a stitch of a song stuck in your head, you can just Google the lyrics and be like, oh, it's that song. You can't... Okay, so when I was at Vid, some, VidCon a couple years ago, one of the nights we went to this, like, thing where we took the passes and left, mm -hmm. and there was some song that was really popular, and I can only make the noises that it makes, because I can't really hear the mumbling. It was a top 40... It was a top hit that year. Right. I've been trying to find that song for like a year. But, okay, I've been but trying to sing it in my head. I've been trying to find a list. I've been trying to do but anything. But if you can't understand the, the lyrics, you can Google like even five words out of the song. Shazam. Or you Shazam it. You just put your phone on. Hey, what's this? Shazam and then it'll tell time. you. It works most of the time, Shazam. But um, I can't make this like noise. So stuff's still in my brain that's lost out there. And I'm on the computer like all day. Andrea got her card. Good. Oh, I don't good. know why it was returned. I don't know if my writing was too messy. Like, I don't think it my It sucks. My first messy. card, I'm not sending you a picture of the first card, because it was way cooler, and then I messed up the drawings. I was yeah, trying I didn't to even see what you did on the I was trying to draw Bubba Wallace, but I drew the card too high up, and then I'm like, ugh. So, sorry, Andrea. Bye. Just says her phone tells her what's playing. I just looked down at my phone, and it'll tell me what's playing. Yeah, but you couldn't do that back in the day. It, it, like, just knows. Blake has no idea. Like, it's everything's terrible. just so easy. Hey, and Jess, like, I want to listen to this. And you just Google it, and there it is. Jess, were you a mixtaper? Like, oh, I'm sure. She's, like, our age. Were you a mixtaper back then? Mm, what's your number one spot? What was your mine was bad. Mine was like some anime song that got stuck in my head. Oh, I put my My genres of music do not My genres of music do not line up with anything you guys are into at all. <laughs> so I put mine on Instagram, so you guys may have seen it if you follow me on Instagram. Uh top artists, Less Than Jake, Mad Caddies, Grateful Dead, Alkaline Trio, Bouncing Souls. Top songs, All My Best Friends Are Metalheads, Less Than Jake. History of a Boring Town, Less Than Jake, E Dagger, Lag Wagon, Friend of the Devil, Grateful Dead, and They Call Me Steve, which plays on every playlist that I put on, is Teenage Bottle Rocket, and it gets stuck in my head all the time. All the damn time. 
Um, my total playtime was 75,630 minutes. I don't know how many days that is, but that's a lot of music. More than 96% Dude, of other Steve's listeners. Steve's had triple digits. It was, his was like 190 something. I was close to his. I posted mine seven, and it? I was close. Was yeah. Um, I want to say his was like 80,000 or something. Was like, it was close. Mine was really low. Um, my top artist, obviously less than Jake. I spent 6,161 minutes listening to them and I was in the top 0.005% of less than Jake Dang, listeners. Does that get you a phone call from Roger? I wish yeah. it would. <laughs> I do. Um, so Spotify does the, the music roundup and I, I only listen to Spotify at work and sometimes like when I'm making dinner, I'll, I'll put on something chill while I'm making dinner. Um, It'll tell you what type of music you listen to at the at what time of day. What? My mornings started with sorrow, cheerful, defiant. I get it. Two of the three of those describe you in the morning. And then I seize the day with hardcore angst nostalgia. <laughs> Absolutely. Marco says, where's Pennywise? I don't like them. Oh, I, I don't, I don't dislike Pennywise. I don't like his hat. I just don't like Pennywise. I like I, I don't like Pennywise. <laughs> No, PJ, I don't know what is up with this teenage dirtbag trend. We, When I went and saw Less Than Jake in Chicago, there was this band, Lolo, I think, with this like 22-year-old girl singing, and she did an awesome rendition of Teenage Dirtbag, and that was the first time I heard that song since, what, did it come out in like, the 90s? And it was like some like mopey guy singing it, and now there's this whole like teenage dirtbag trend that going on. was a guy on. singing it? Huh? It was a guy singing The original was a guy singing it, for sure. I let, Let's see. I don't remember which band, but it was for sure like one hit wonder. Am I Tom Purple yet? No. Uh, I think I'm going to turn Violet Violet soon. You're going to have to take me to the Scloser. Yes, the original is a guy. I can't, I, it sounds squeakies to me. Weedus. W H E A T U S. One hit wonder. Weedus still sounds like you're an innie. Like, <laughs> it still sounds like you sit down to pee. Uh, the trend is from TikTok. Yeah, but why? That's what I don't get. Why is this a trend? Like, these 22-year-olds discovered this song that was a one-hit the, wonder back in... It's uh, because we're old enough that our stuff's now... Um, remember how, like, like I wore Led Zeppelin shirts in the 90s? And, like, Leslie, I don't know if she's watching, right. she used to be so mad at me yeah, about it. didn't even know what no. a Led Zeppelin so, was. So, like, now I see all these kids, like, come out of the stores with Selena shirts... <laughs> Tupac shirts, Biggie Smalls shirts, and like even during all that, it like that it's just like that's what they took from the nineties, right? And uh, that Jess, song, I know and, what the trend is. I don't get it. I don't know why this one hit wonder song from uh, June of two thousand that was a popular no, no, song. No, but it became this trend of like everybody's like, look at me when I was a teenage dirtbag, and I'm like, what? what? Like, that's not... No! No, no, no. It was a stupid song. It wasn't even that good. I don't it's get catchy. it. It's catchy. I like it. I guess it's catchy enough, but I'm I just... In. I don't... I don't get it. I really don't. I'm back. The song wasn't even that good. Like, in the first place, when it first came out. Everything we listen to in high school and college is oldies now. Yeah, we used to listen to KLOS to listen to classic rock. Like, Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and, and the old stuff. And, and now the stuff that we grew up listening to is on it. And they still call it classic rock, which is a little heartbreaking. Like, oh, tell me I'm old without telling me I'm old. Uh, Lisa says it was in a popular movie. Okay, then that, that explains why it became a thing again. Uh, watch the Vice video on Teenage Dirtbag. There's a whole Vice video on it? Oh my gosh. Marco, don't say those words out loud or you're going to get Dan started singing it. Uh, Amanda says, keep an eye on the timer. I took mine out two minutes early. I've got 14 minutes here. I've got it right in front of me. Yeah, so 35. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we're still gooey. Thank you, though. Good looking out. Uh, Dre wants to know how your new quote-unquote cat outside is doing. <laughs> uh, Beer and Bug heard the Beastie Boys on a classic rock station. <laughs> oh. It's terrible. When did that happen? Uh, Dale says, sorry, I grew up in the 70s and early 80s. I've never even heard most of the acts you guys are talking about. That's how it goes. And and Blake doesn't know half of what we're talking about. Like, the, the next generations just don't know. Are you mousing? No. No, my hand might have been close to it. What's going on here with these? Oh, I got these on clearance at Target. Did you guys know that Andy's makes other things than mints? Because I had no idea. And these were like a dollar seventy-five or something, and they're toffee crunch thins, and it's a little like Andy's mint-sized chocolate, but like wrapped in gold—not literal gold, but like it's basically an Andy's mint 
but it's not minty and it's chocolate and it has toffee bits in it and they're actually really good. Had no idea. Uh, Marco, I saw earlier you asked, what about Bad Religion? Don't worry, that is, is plenty up in my mix. It just didn't make it in my top five. That's not, and most of what I listen to at work is like Spotify will curate playlists for you and it's like a daily mix one, daily mix two. And I'm like, eh, pick one of these, I don't care. So that's where most of my top music comes from. I rarely pick an actual album, but on Spotify, even if you pick an album to listen to, as soon as that album's over, it just starts shuffling through other sort of similar music until today I was listening to Tom Petty for a while because I was working on stuff and I needed just like quiet background music. Um, and when Tom Petty ended, it started going into other stuff, and then eventually it got to, like, almost country music, and then I had to change the station. I, I couldn't do that at all. PJ, you put a link, but I don't know what it's for, and I can't... Oh, the Vice video link. 24 minutes long. Okay. Maybe Dan can open that elsewhere. Mm, y'all grab it. Um, Alice Wicked Adventure says, yes, I have these Toffee Crunch Thins. I never knew they were a thing. I've never seen anything but Andy's Mints. I didn't know they made other things. We did. What, what were we watching the other day where they were talking about Andes and it used to be A N D Y S, and then they didn't want it to be the name, like a guy's name, so then they changed the spelling. Yes. We did watch that candy documentary. Was that is day. that what that was on? I think that's where, yeah. I think yeah. that's where that came from. Is it? Yes. That sounds familiar. Uh, Dale says, "I'll keep an eye peeled for those new Andes toffee candy things." Yeah, these came from Target, and I don't know if they're just a holiday thing or if they're a year-round thing. Because, like I said, I've never seen them before. Uh, Tom Petty is my comfort music. It is. It's good background noise. Uh, that's my my Grateful Dead listening is also my background noise when I'm actually working on something and don't want like distracting music that I'm going to sing along to that can just play in the background. Christine got a toffee crunch bar from Aldi. It was excellent. Like an Aldi brand something, not like a name brand, like Aldi brand stuff. Uh, Hannah wants a sandwich, but doesn't want to make a sandwich. Well, then it sounds like you're not having a sandwich. Uh, Liz listens to country music. I, I'm sorry, I don't like country music, but it's not, it's nothing at all against you. My mom, you know, you, you lived with my mom for a few years with me. Um, my mom listened to country music at full blast for like three hours every morning and I'm traumatized. Apologize. So I cannot even, I don't, I don't even country want Country music's really me. good. I don't listen to it, but it's really good. Every song just sounds like a hit. Every single song. I, I don't hear a song that goes like... Like, 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 don't listen to the words, just like listen to the song. It all is like full bands and it's all like full. I don't know. It's, and they're all hits. I never They all not, sound the same. Yeah. But like, you know. <laughs> the lyrics don't really matter. I heard uh, Songbird, Kenny G. Uh, Marco, when I graduated eighth oh, grade. Oh, my dad. I got two cassette tapes. And at this time, I do not remember what the second one was, but one of them was Kenny G because I love the sound of a saxophone. Uh, it came with like our Aerostar. Like we got a four <laughs> Aerostar. And it <laughs> with came a with, free Kenny G. It came with that. And like the Olympics music had just come out as well. So it came with that cassette too. But yeah, and Kenny G was so popular that I remember going with my dad to work, and we'd listen to AM radio, like, on our way down to, like, Culver City, and, like, it was, like, all Kenny G all the time. It was, like, AM news radio, and then more so Kenny, good, and then more Kenny G. When I was a kid, I'm like, this is boring, but older, I get it. Like, it's better, or, like, now that I'm older. Uh, Jess says... My top song was Bones by Imagine Dragons, but Jamie also played that a lot on my account. So I think my real top song was listed as Number Two Voices in My Head by Falling in Reverse. I don't know either of those. Jess songs. was a, a one, very Jess. big shine. It was Shine Down. So that's her top artist, she for, said. Yeah, yeah. It's been a Shine Down like half decade for Jess. Shine Down's pretty. Shine Down's know. pretty pretty good, but that's <laughs> is more like that. I don't know any of her top five bands except Corn, and I couldn't even name a Corn song. Freak on the Leash. Like, I know that they're a band, and I know they had hit songs. It was never on my radar, and I... I like following them. I don't even know if I would be able to recognize, like, oh, this is Korn. Uh, good evening, Crystal Dan and Jess. Hi. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Terry's here, too. Come on, Kevin. Hi. Wake Kevin. up. Wake up. Yo, my top, Dang. My top artist was Post Malone. Was it? Yeah. I'm, like, I'm surprised that my uh, year-end wrap-up was, it all ended up being my stuff, because Jason puts my Spotify on a lot, and okay. none of his stuff made it in the top. Real quick, where are we Eight at? Eight minutes, Slim Where are we at afterwards? It's done, done? Oh, we can't do anything, because it has to uh, cool and then chill. We're trying this tomorrow on the okay, after so show. Okay, so this is done once it comes out. Yes. So where are we at cat-wise, since we... Oh, you, you can do stuff with cats. Okay, We should, can stop reminiscing about the should, 90s. Should we... Should we feed some cats or something, or give them snacks, or feed them, or what, what should what, uh, what should we do? 
What's what's this one? Who's this? They shouldn't have dinner. Yoink. Uh, what's this? That's, that's Roxy. Is that Roxy? Hi, Roxy. Yeah, with her little snub nose. Hmm. Okay, go off to what you were doing. Mm-hmm. They're getting stretchy. Air jail. <laughs> Air jail. Do you <laughs> see how there are no, no rush? Oh, what's up? She's sitting here. She's like, I'm ready for food. Like, what's going oh, on? I'm ready for food. Okay, let me get this camera ready then, because I have to like turn it the other way and stuff like that. Oh, I love Deftones. I like Deftones, too. I was a big Deftones fan. I saw them in concert. They freaking sucked, man. Get the microphone out of your mouth, bro. Get the microphone out of your mouth. They opened for Stone Temple Pilots, which was the worst. Uh, but uh, Deftones on albums, good. Deftones in person was... <laughs> Such, and I love Deftones. I woke him up and he doesn't know what's going on. Uh, but boy, did it suck. Believe it or not, that concert, like I say all the time, and I'm not a champion of Bush, but gosh, did Bush sound exactly like their album? I will say that wow. about Hootie and the Blowfish, too. Wow, did they sound Although like I it. I don't think they do things anymore. Uh, the girl's name is Roxy, yes, but with an IE. I'll bring it. Is uh, this Baxter? This is Baxter. I woke him up, and he's not really sure what's going on at this point. Um, Roxy is the girl, and uh, Mom is still being called Mama Cat because Dad hasn't picked a name yet. Oh, sleepyhead. He's a little snuggler. He comes and climbs under the blankets and sits in my lap and takes a little naps. He's so cute and I love him so much. Bax. Baxter. What you doing? You starting to wake up? <laughs> so many cameras. Oh, they can't see any of this. No, I can't see any of this. No, it's okay. Just keep living life. Now I can't see what he's doing though. Oh, he, he's still trying to wake up. Do you want some snackies? Do you want to get snacks? Big boy. What did you write? Do you know that this is the snack cover? No. Topo knows it's a snack cover. That guy just came running. But I'm but I'm but I'm but you got a topo with you. Hi, Maxie. <laughs> he just like is not even trying to move. We have no idea what's happening, but you know. Look at his legs are just like. He's a little. <laughs> he's, he's a little snuggler. He is. And now he smells the candy. Yeah. So there's the snacks, and so does this one, and so does this one here. He's still not trying to Oh, I dropped it. Kamiko on your six, bro. Hi, Baxter. Baxter, big and mooch. What are we doing? Mama cat. He's still not even trying to move. His legs are cracking me up. Okay, here we go. Now you're ready. You got your land legs back? You wait. Big stretch. All right, I have five minutes, but Amanda said she took hers out two minutes early, so it may only be three minutes. Topo, go get it. Hey, I'll just try to, like, carry this around. Hi, Mama Cat. Dang. Oh, Rob, because you were saying hi. Here, can I have one for Mama Cat? She just got one. Give that to Kamiko, though. Sit. Oops. Sit. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Good boy. Oh, right in your mouth. Perfect. Go get that one. That way everybody else can have one. Topo. Oh, you're so rude. He swiped that like right out of Rizzo's mouth. Maxie. So mean. Don't forget Maurice on the front porch. <laughs> no. Get the hell out of here, Topo. <laughs> he bounced. <coughs> there you go, baby. Get out of here. Richie. We gotta go give some to Kitty because I know she can hear what's going on out here. Alright, fan thought. I won't look at the camera anymore. This is, oh my god, I did the last envelope isn't printed all in one ink cartridge, or is that, <laughs> are those multiple ink cartridges? Is that it? 
Uh, this bag of snacks is done. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Said that. Thank you, Valerie, for thank the you, Canadian Valerie. snacks that uh, say snacks in French. Oh, that's when I met the laser printer. Like, did you have to go through uh, some cartridges? No, oh, man, I think I gotta go a little longer. I got two and a half minutes left, but I think it said uh, till it was a little bit brown around the edges and only slightly jiggles when shook. Me too. Now they're all sitting there like, what's happening now? Yeah, they did not get enough for sure. Hi, Max. Lots of cats and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. He is still not. He does not get up for snacks. He is knocked out. Oh. Yeah, he's snoozing over there. Let's see. No, we're not really jiggling anymore. I think we should probably call it. Amanda says she took hers out two minutes early. Yeah, I can take the camera over there, but I'm like, there's a sea of cats. You want to bring it over here on the thing? Yeah, can you get me a trivet thingy out of the drawer? Yeah, there's lots of cat tails. This one? Yeah. So, like I said, there's still about a minute and a half, two minutes left here. But the parchment paper's cleanly peeling away. It's, it's set. Like, even in the middle, it's not wiggly and jiggly. It's not really brown around the edges, but I think we're good. I think I'm calling it. So no taste test tonight because nobody wants warm cheesecake. We have to let this cool down to room temperature and then I'll put a lid on it and throw it in the fridge overnight and tomorrow we can eat it. Because I don't think we'll be up late enough that it'll be cooled. And we'll definitely show it on tomorrow's episode. Yes. In the after show tomorrow, Amanda says that is what mine looked like. Okay, perfect. That's what I thought, but see, I was looking at your picture, and I'm like, is this before she cooked it or after? I couldn't really tell, but now I see, like, yeah, it just kind of sets the way that it is. I'm excited for it. I really hope this is good. Chris and Amanda said it was good, so I'm trusting. It's got a nice shine. It does. It looks fancy. And lots of blueberries. I did put almost two cups in there. I'm glad they're not all sunk to the bottom. They do yeah. not sink to the bottom. Amanda, I was asking earlier, but I don't think you were here. Did you coat your blueberries in flour? I wasn't sure because the recipe didn't say to do it. Um, I did do it just because I didn't want them to sink, but I just put a little bit on there since there wasn't really flour, like a teaspoon of flour in the recipe, and I don't want to overdo it and have them be like really like powdery, dusty or anything. But did you did you put flour on them? Because yours didn't sink. And Jess says she still has to stuff 650 envelopes. Oh. There's a little browning on the edges. Not really. This looks undercooked to me, but what do I know? But look, when it's you pull, I guess right there too. it's browning a little bit. There's, there's blue around the edges. It's like half a little piece that was starting to brown, but I think we're good. Amanda said that's what hers looks like. Uh, she says hers were fine without flour. Okay, good to know. Yes, Brittany, it will, it will cook a little bit because it's in the pan and the pan is hot. I'm not taking it out of the pan right now. So it is going to continue to cook a little bit uh, while it is in the pan cooling to room temperature. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's a blueberry lemon cheesecake bars. Mm. I hit stop. Why are you not Just listen? in time. Yeah. Perfect. Just in time. All right. This is going to be awkward camera here for a second until I can go switch camera. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dan. Uh-huh. Amanda says, I did not take mine out of the pan. No, I'm not going to take it out of the pan. I'm just saying, like, like cookies and stuff, you can take them off after they cool for a minute or two, and then they stop cooking because you take them off the pan. This is going to stay in the pan. I actually bought these these Wilton pans because they come with a lid, so I can leave stuff in the pan, pop the lid on once it's cool, and put it right in the fridge. So, uh, yeah, this will this will stay in here. I'll leave it out for a few hours. It's already eight, so I'll probably leave it out for two or three hours till it cools completely, and then uh, throw it in the fridge overnight, and we'll try it out tomorrow. Yeah. Looks very yummy, yummy to my tummy. Me too. I'm. Uh, what happens when you touch it with your finger? Does it like cave? Like no, does it, touch is it. it. It's uh -uh. like almost like gelatinous. No, my fingers are dirty. Good call. Um, kind of gooey, but not not like gooey gooey. It's it's like gelatinous almost. Right. I guess that's the best word for it. Right. So uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Good for job. Tonight. That looks fun. I, I'm happy. It looks it looks good. I hate it when we can't taste it on the show, but no, it's not, hot. Not everything's ready right away. Nobody no. wants a hot cheesecake. Right. Even like room temperature, it has to be nice. <laughs> like I'm gonna move this to the top shelf before we eat it tomorrow. So it's as cold as it could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Mooch! Yes, he had to make one final appearance because I'm sure he can smell this. He I'm did. sure he wants a taste of this, but it's full of lemons and blueberries. Yes. And sugar. 
Hey, good job. So we'll be back tomorrow. Yes. Same time, 6 p.m. Pacific time for uh, Dantic's anniversary episode. So show up. The anniversary. The anniversary. Will. That's right. Show up. <laughs> call in. It's a lot of fun. You will not be answering in the chat. You will not be playing along at home. Well, you can play along at home. Yell at the screen. Uh, but you have to call the phone number and actually talk to me. This yes. is your chance to actually talk to me. Um, and uh, I will ask you trivia questions and you will answer them live on the air. There'll be a leaderboard. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. If you guys haven't uh, mm -hmm. tuned in for a live call-in show, please check it out. And please, don't be afraid to call in. Yes. I'm really hoping we get yes. new people. Yes. I miss it. I miss the people that like used to call in back in pandemic times when everybody was trapped in the house and people were more willing to call in because it was the only social interaction they had. Yeah, that was... And then uh... it, it trickled off and there was only like a handful of people who would call, so... I'm hoping everybody makes a comeback. Mm -hmm. It'll yep. be fun. Yep, yep. It'll be a lot of fun. And then tune in tomorrow uh, for Jess's uh, car. When is it at? Is that noon? One, one o'clock Pacific, four, four Eastern. Eastern. Yes. Where you can ask her all these questions. You asked her tonight again. <laughs> you can ask her tomorrow <laughs> uh, on, on the channel. And we will open up. Yeah, she will show your cards off. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, four Eastern. Yes, four, four Eastern. So show up to that. So you could see your car that traveled all the way to in the car was in her house. You'll never be in her house, <laughs> not without a restraining order after. But those <laughs> cards were the cards were. So you make sure you check that out on camera, on camera tomorrow. Yes. She worked really hard on it, on it. Mm -hmm. And if you guys uh, miss the show and the reminder tomorrow, we will, we will be back on Wednesday, which is Terry's birthday. Oh. So make sure to show up and give her a live, real time happy birthday wish on her birthday. We're playing Mario Kart. Yes, it'll be a lot of fun. It will. will. Uh-huh. All right, I got to run over here to the, to back to the control room. <laughs> Amanda says, Chris and I will call in. I know you guys will. I know I can always count on you for that. So I hope I get to talk to a bunch of you guys tomorrow. Well, Dan will mostly talk to you. I'll just push all the buttons and turn you up or down if you're too loud or annoying. So uh, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Yeah, uh, if you haven't already, night. please hit that thumbs up on your way out. It'll help out our algorithm -y things. And we will see you guys tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, bye, bye.